Hello, future friends. Thank you for checking out our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. I am Hyperion PDX. You may know me from the social medias. And I am recording a special intro for you because I am currently flying to GaryCon. Because we didn't want to miss a week of streaming our game sessions, we recorded a session after last week's session. And it was a blast. And we also have something super special that I can't wait for people to see. So much so that when I was super tired and flubbing my lines at the end of the session, I couldn't let it stand. Um, so I've re-recorded the end of the session, uh, which just has a big reveal on my part, and no player action was missed. I won't be doing that often, but the combination of the recorded session and the big reveal was just too much to not make me go back and fix it and make it great. With that said, we are telling an episodic show, and we encourage you to go back and start from the beginning. We promise not to get too far ahead while you catch up. And with that, on with the show. So, last session, the, the Mistakes Being Made crew, who you guys have, you need to figure out an in adventuring party name, um, journeyed into like the that? citadel Rain's of the rumble tide dwarves i was thinking xenos is pirates corvin and the rosebuds can i can i go is it my we're turn? thinking about you told names us the now. Name. We're not to the right now well you need to make that more specific well, mistakes are all, <laughs> <laughs> they're all getting squirrely now so, all right okay. uh, so I'm, I'm doing a recap uh, so th they made their way into the uh, citadel of the Rumble Tide Dwarves. Uh, they fought some goblins. They burned a bridge for no apparent reason. Um, they found something which might surprise you, and uh, there was a book that was slightly covered in goblin feces. Um, Clean. So um, now that um, the, oh they they also um, in the break they also took a short rest. Um, so. Doug, uh, yes. while Xenos took the time during the short rest to um, to look over the book, mm -hmm. uh, it is a book. It is a spell book. Okay. Uh, Craig's name is on the first page. Yeah. Um, okay. Craig the dwarf. If I didn't think there was a Craig the dwarf, so all right. There is, and he owes me money. Uh, wow. And the book uh, has spells similar to the ones that you had. It also has, if you want to write these down, I do. Um, arcane lock, dispel magic. Uh, charm person and shield. Spell magic. Shield and charm person. Charm person. All right. It's so cute the way you learn spells. <laughs> yeah. You just pray for yours. <laughs> I um, just steal books that have them in them. So oh, wait. I didn't say that. So, well, Doug, I heard that. as part of a wizard's mm -hmm. um, short rest, mm -hmm. you can do your arcane recovery. And I did. Okay, you did. Okay, what? And that, that gives, just recovers spell slots, right? And you can use them however you choose? It recovers up to, I think it's half my wizard level rounded, a minimum one rounded down, yeah. or I don't know. But, yeah. So I'm, I'm recovering one spell slot, but I can only cast first level spells, so... Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I forget who it was that rolled the really great um, investigation check. Howard. It was Howard. So <laughs> Sar Sorrel, as he's going to poke um, his brother Shipwreck, um, notices that there is a slight discoloration and a breeze uh, coming from the wall next to, to Shipwreck's bed, um, revealing a secret door. The secret door leads to a 10-foot long passage um, that on this side of it um, is very clearly another door. Um, and as a note to our viewers, um, the goblins were un unaware that this would exist. Obviously, when they charged out into certain doom from a, th a thunder wave, if they'd had another way to get out of the room, they probably would have used it. Um, <laughs> so, when you open the other, um, the other secret door, what you find is a, um, what used to be a very fine uh, dining hall for the dwarves that patrolled up here. And uh, what people would have known that have been here before, so Sarsarel and uh, Shipwreck would have been here before, is that the Rumble Tide Dwarves, um, this was this first level is mostly like a sentry defending post area. Uh, hence the rope bridge instead of a stone bridge so that they could set it on fire if they needed to. Um, the living quarters down below um, is a 
grander citadel um, than what you see up here. Um, so the, the, the hallway is very utilitarian. There are wooden uh, tables and wooden chairs. Everything looks a mess. Um, any food that was on the tables is now on the floor. Um, and anything even halfway edit edible is, has been eaten. So, um, so that's what you see, Sarsarol, when you go into the, the dining hall. Okay. And what do you do? Uh, I guess I'll just take a more fair look around. There's currently that other door at the end There's of the hall. There's a door at the, at the end of the hall. It is shut. Okay. I'll just make a perception check to see if maybe I can hear goblins on the other sure. side of the door. Sure. And that is only a 12. Okay. Um, you don't you don't hear anything coming from the other side of the door. Great. It's all clear again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> there's, there's another door? <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I'll just go back in and let them know. Okay. Yeah. The idea is that's that, well... the one that's open. I don't see that one either. <laughs> I sleepy time. I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy again, just so that I can open that door at a moment's notice, just for fun, if I feel like it. Okay. Assuming it's not locked. All right, so we're in the kitchen now. We're all... You're in the, the hall. All yeah. Right. So we went ahead into the into the other room, mm -hmm. the secret door. Is there anything else interesting on this table? Uh, or the, on the no, desk? the spell book was the most interesting thing. Most There's of, lots of cool stuff on that desk. Uh, lots of cool stuff on that desk. You you are correct. Um, that is a uh, that is a Raven Elf's own um, alchemist desk, which is very nice. Yeah. Um, so as you make your way into the into the dining hall. Mm -hmm. Um, Just close those doors. And you get... <laughs> I don't know why you did that, but okay. He um, said he closed them. No, I did not. I said I cast Thaumaturgy so I could open that door on a whim if I felt like it. So as you make your way in, um, everybody that gets close to the door on the far side of the dining room can can make a uh, perception check similar to the one that Sarsarol did. Those are my best checks ever. Oh, there we go. 13. That was, than mine. that was a lot okay. better than mine. 19. Um, Mike, what'd you get? Seven. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> Doug, did Zeno see here, uh, I didn't, because I didn't think I got close enough, but here we go. Oh. Oh. What is this, perception? Yeah. Perception. 19. Okay, so uh, everybody that got 19 or above um, oh. hears <laughs> the sound of goblins being quiet on the other <laughs> side of the door. Goblin, 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 goblin. You hear goblin, goblin, goblin. Open the door um, and ready spells so we want to ready. We want to. So wanna, I'm gonna need to everyone to make a stealth check. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I and got you this. get to roll twice. Yeah. Oh, we'll wow. see how this goes. Oh man, that was close. Uh, I got an eight, mm. which isn't the worst. <laughs> no, it's not the worst. They know we're on the other side of that. There's a heavy door there. Yes. There is a heavy door. Mm -hmm. Whim! Fifteen. Okay. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> or, sorry, fourteen on me. Okay. Uh, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> did you yell at the goblins again? Four! He did. Did you hear me? Did you four. hear the goblins on the other side of that door? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should be quiet. And then, uh, Frank, what, what did Ren get? 19. Okay. Uh, so you guys, for the most part, are pretty stealthy. As um, as Corvin is making his way across, maybe he got a little Close. happy in his um, short rest and maybe took a sip off of a flask and then yes. bumped into a table that, like, screeched yeah, across. Wow. Who put a table the there? Well, he, he's pulling the chair out to sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've ruined the element of surprise at this point. Well, can I use... A reaction to me stumbling over something. Sure. And use my invocation to look like a hobgoblin. Sure. And then walk up to the door. Sure. I'll open it up and look behind me and be like, well, like let's, I'll make sure that. Let's roll initiative okay. at this point because right. things are going to start happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay that you're in the element of surprise because the only element that really matters here is water. Fine. Um, all right. So, Howard, what'd you get? <laughs> So uh, 14. 14. Like Frank? <laughs> Six. Six. 
Uh, Doug? Uh, ten. Ten. Mike? Twelve. Twelve. Adam? <laughs> dog, Again? Jesus dice. Five. Five. Well, well, that's that a, that's an improvement. <laughs> uh, Aaron. Eleven. Aaron. Okay. Oh. Eleven. Okay. So I, it's not a high bar to beat. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, so let me reorganize this a little bit from last session. I'm gonna go first. Uh, you are gonna go first and less. First ish. First ish. Um, okay. The vicinity of first. <laughs> first adjacent. So. First adjacent. I'm a mid card. At best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there and there and. Okay. All right. I'm second. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, it's, like it's I said, pretty, it's not a high it's bar to beat. Bad. Okay. So. We're brothers. Bad. The yeah, goblins yeah. got a natural one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They so suck. They yeah. do suck. Oh, it does. Um, the hobgoblin that's there. There's a hobgoblin? Yeah, there's a hobgoblin. with a big sword. Ooh. He sword? rolled better. Um, it's all lined up. I bet you want to get like lightning bolt, they're never going to line up again. If I had a nickel for every time I wish I had a lightning bolt. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to. These guys. <laughs> be a lot of this guy is not going to immediately be in the fight. <laughs> But he is Put definitely there. around somewhere. Oh, good. That seems great. Well, I mean, they set you. They had an I hour. I know. To set up an ambush, they just set up the ambush in the wrong spot. Yes. <laughs> um, what they thought we were coming away with dancing lights. They did not know about the, the secret, secret door. door. So to them, the only way that you could get across the chasm is the bridge. And there's no which bridge. you lit on fire. Um, so they like, they set up an ambush. Should have made you do some more dancing lights across that chasm. Keep them could have been a great idea. Okay, so, uh, Sarsarel, it is your turn first. Now, you can certainly hold your action <laughs> if you, the plan is to have uh, Corbin, as the, as the already turned hobgoblin, open the door, if you want to do that. I mean, I could just open the door. You could. It's an instantaneous, instantaneous action, so it doesn't... I rolled for the hobgoblin to make sure that he he heard it because he was a little before, further back. Did he hear it? Maybe. <sighs> oh, or maybe not. Well, I guess I'll just move up so that I'm not in the middle of the room okay. since I know that my hiding isn't as good as some people. Do you want to ready in action or no? Yeah, I'll ready in action. Okay. What's your action? That you're uh, I'm gonna ready in action to stab somebody in the face. Can I get it next? I'll get next to that door. That Stand. door opens in, and I don't know which side. Just blow the door apart. I just, you know, I'm ready in action to slam the door shut in the goblin's okay. face. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, the hobgoblin's turn um, happens. Shipwreck. Okay. All right. I am going to stand on this table. And no dance bad. provocatively? Right. No. When sure. he opens that door, uh -huh. I'm going to charge through it and leap onto a goblin. Okay. All right. Cool. You're so brave. Xenos. So, can I hide behind him on the table <laughs> and ready in action to firebolt? I mean, you're not going to get any cover from hiding. Yeah, well, him? he's because I'm naturally stealthy. He's he actually does. okay. I can <laughs> okay, hide if obscured by a creature I one size category or larger. Here so is like Doug hiding here is the exactly. the rest of that sentence. If you're firebolting when the door is open and mm -hmm. he's jumping and charging when the door is open, you're not going to get any cover from the guy that's no longer at you. <laughs> that seems fair. That's true. <laughs> Moment. But they won't be able to, to open the door and shoot me because he's in the way. That's true. That's, that's true. true. Um, okay. <clears throat> and it seems like that would be a cool thing to do. Vaziago. Super cool. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go on the other side of this door. Okay. And already in action, if a goblin comes in and, and is about to attack, because mm -hmm. I know that you're planning on walking out in, in a disguise, so I'm not just going to stab a goblin if he shows up. But if he's... I think this disguise is going to be blown when shipwreck... Uh, <laughs> I, may have, I may have been talking to multiple people when saying that. Um, <laughs> I have to see a goblin, though. Yeah, you do, but I think there's one right there. Mm -hmm. there uh, no, he's... Oh, he's over? But okay, if, I didn't if a goblin is heading into the room to attack, I'll ready to stab. Okay. 
Uh, Ren, you moved. Yes. I'll, Are you ready in an action? I will ready my poison spray. Okay. Wait, what? It's not poison spray. My poison acid dart. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Something. Ren. <laughs> yeah, it's poison. Okay. Huh? You, what, Ten you, feet. You like a skunk now? No, that's Rennie's the poo. Oh. <laughs> Corbin, unfortunate. as a hobgoblin, what do you do? I'm gonna bust through the door. Oh, yeah. Push it that way. Yeah. Um, but I love it in here. <laughs> there is there is a table. It's goblin. It opens in. Right it opens there. in, but there's a table in the way because they're stupid. They barricaded. <laughs> the other way. <laughs> so I'll open it and start walking through and just go, <laughs> and I'll look at the goblins. <laughs> Make a performance check. Sure. A performance? I yeah. will give you advantage. Oh, thanks. Because you're, uh, you, look like, you look like a hobgoblin. But you don't speak goblin, so. I don't. <laughs> uh, 17. Um, you do know one word of goblin. Yeah? Goblin. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Gavrin. Yeah, bro. Go on, <laughs> <laughs> and what'd you get for your seventeen? Oh yeah, um, the the one goblin that is closest to the door cowers away, is like, and appears to be buying it. Okay. Um, and he also seems confused because he oh. like it, it was very clear that everyone should vacate that room to set up. One, two, goblin. <laughs> I pull out my flask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he reaches up. Gabri. Gabri. Got to stay in character. So what is, uh, are you doing anything else? I'd like to try and push him back a little ways. Like yeah, to he'll get back him to, up with you. He'll yeah, back yeah. up with you as, um, you've basically cowed him at this point. Cool. Uh, okay, so DM3 is going to go. Um, he hasn't heard anything yet. So um, the other goblins... Um, these ones are going to come see what's going on, because they're interested to see what the hell is going on. Um, I'm going to allow the goblin that is adjacent to you um, a perception check, <laughs> because there is an open door, and while um, his view is obstructed, he, he might be able to see something. So, um, he is not trained in perception, and he has a minus two... T nope! <laughs> he does not see anything. He is cowed by you. Um, so that is that. Sarsarel, it is your turn. <laughs> well, you didn't really say what the plan be beyond. You're going out I'm just trying was. to get him away from the door. <laughs> So that you guys have a staging area? Yeah. Yes, I'll slam the door shut like I prepared to do and then uh, just leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, seem what? Like a great choice. No, that doesn't um, seem like a great plan. Yeah. Can you uh, do that thunder wave thing again? Well, I guess I could try that. Yeah, let me get out. Okay. So that I can. You are Bryn? What are you, Goblin? There's only one, two. Within ten, 10 feet of you. Within, within it's fifteen. It's so you'd hit that third one. You hit that third one. Okay. Sure, I'll do a thunder wave. Okay. So they need to make a DC thirteen con save. All right. Oh man, this is gonna get hurt though. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so one saves. So he probably still dies. Uh, maybe. Yeah, he does. <laughs> you max both of those. And uh, yeah, they all three just. <laughs> so there's their bodies are then pushed into you, the hobgoblin. You definitely. So you two see a liquefaction of organs that happen. Can you do it again without me saying it? They thunder. they no longer have bones in they their bodies. They've been thunderstruck. Yeah, and the hobgoblin is like. Duh. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, and that thunder, well, that thunder wave can be heard for at least three hundred. <laughs> that yeah, yeah. I think the jig is is currently up. <laughs> it's it's as we say it's it up. goes. Yeah, it goes wow. on waves. Okay, so um, echoing. It's only perhaps. sixty squares. The hobgoblin is going to go ahead and take his action. Um, oh. Huh. Fair. Hmm. And um, he is going to, actually, he's not going to move in. Save me. Because he is smart enough to not do that. He is going to move here. Don't, and 
And he's going to shout to the other goblins. <laughs> goblin, goblin, goblin. I'm goblin. Now I know two words. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, it is your turn. <laughs> Huh. It just doubled our goblin vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this rate uh, yeah. will speak I'm for So me. blood, just blood in that. <laughs> it's a hallway filled with blood. Um, I'm going to kick some body parts at those guys. Okay. All right, make a... Because uh, I, I, I can't do anything else. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. Slish, splash. Um, just a, what, a, a strength check? Sure. All right, that's a 21. Okay, you hit the goblin in the face with his goblin friend. <laughs> and he is going to... Yeah, I'm just going to make that as an intimidate check. Out. I'm, no, I'm going to do something different. Okay. I think you'll like it. All right. Uh, he does not save, so he is now blinded oh, for awesome. his turn. Blinded by blood until he takes his action to remove the blood. That's this from his in the front? Yeah. So he'll... Just yeah. Blind. Okay. So that is Shipwreck's turn. Xenos. Well, uh, let's see here. 5, 10, 15, jump off the table. 20, 25, I guess head towards the hall. Okay. I'll uh, get rid of this. And double move? Um, no. I feel you like you should move. double move. No, no, I don't think I should. <laughs> uh, get in front of the bucket of hit points or. I, I think, yeah, stay behind the bucket of hit points. I don't think I can see. Well, the anybody. bucket of hit points is over here, not you. So he has no turn. I'll, uh, I'll, oh, I'll we rest continue it. to. He's got them all back. A short short rest? rest. Yeah. Oh, maybe. You broken? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much every level. Well, okay. wait, wait a minute until he takes one level of barbarian, and then he's broken. <laughs> oh yeah. Because when, raging he, when he rages, he takes half damage. Also true. Okay. So yeah. I'll ready in action to firebolt. A goblin or something. You cannot see a goblin from. I know, but can. should one come oh, to okay. view, okay. I will get it. <laughs> All right. That's why it's pretty. Mm -hmm. All right. Baziago. Uh, I'm just going to get. As long as I can see up there. Can I see a shipwreck up there? Sure. And I'm just going to tell shipwreck, I'm going to be like, hey, don't let your brother kill more things than you. And that's going to be your inspiration. Oh, so you can nice. use that at some point. Nice. I try not to, but he's just. He okay. Does the area stuff. Uh, Red? Well, uh, not a lot I could do. Um, not from here. This is kind of a bottleneck. Yep. Uh, he's trying to get us through the bottleneck. Yeah. <laughs> That's as far Sorry. as I can go. Yeah. That's... You wanted to kill three goblins. I'm going to stand in the did. doorway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the doorway. Okay. If I had to roll eight, eight yeah, yeah, I was time. See <laughs> um, okay. So um, that's Ren Corbin. Um, that's fair. Um, do you want to move forward? Yeah. Sure. Well, Mike's moving. Mike you. is moving you forward. That's cool. So, if you want to move behind. So, me. my action is to cast disguise using my invocation again. Okay. Um, I will now be a hobgoblin covered in blood. <laughs> With like an obvious, like like a rolled eye or something like that. So okay. it looks like I've taken damage. Okay. And I'm gonna come stumbling out. Okay. Make that a performance one. check. I actually get my channel divinity back after a short rest. <laughs> hey, look at you learning your stuff. I just have to do long rest. Do I get advantage on it again? I am going to say no. <laughs> no, not this time. All right. Well, then it's a seven. Okay. Cabron! <laughs> so. I don't think they're going to be there. I don't think they're going to buy it. Don't know that they would buy it. Are you going to end your move there or are you going to keep going? Uh, the well, blind one do, definitely buys it. I have to do an action and then move, so. Well, how what. how far? I don't know the action is, economy that well. So action is you get all of your movement. Yeah, you can do you can you can action you in the can middle move. of movement. Yeah, you before get, and after. Yeah. So I would have tried to go past the goblins. Well, okay. Can, so that guy he's blind, so he cool. doesn't he buys your disguise. The other guys don't appear to be buying it, but you can go all the way to there. Yeah. If you no, want that's to. yeah. Okay. That um that one is not going to attack you. Okay. You can't. Well. Fine. <laughs> He's also blinded. Yeah. You so. didn't move All right. out of any of their threats. So um, on three, you hear. Are you training? Are uh, you proficient in nature, Corbin? No. Okay. The dark vision. You hear something, mm -hmm. um, and then a large bestial form just glumps out of the darkness. And it is going to. Um, it's going to move 50 feet. So, Mike, can you move the giant six-legged rat 50 feet for me? 
That was cool. Um, is there five? I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, that's uh, more that's, or less. That's forty-five. So it's, it's there, and it goes. <laughs> and you know what? Why don't you go ahead and uh, you can have a, uh, advantage on this guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because because you... now you're in a spot where you're you look like, like I should blend in. Yeah, you look like and a man. He, and he lives and he lives in the gutters. Yeah. So oh, he smells, that'll do so it. So he smells like a goblin. 23. Okay, so it does not attack you because it does not see through your disguise. Um, the uh, the bugbear uh, is also going to move, and he's going to move 30 down the hallway. Why, did he hear something? He heard something. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know how. Actually, he'll just go ahead and double move. So move him another 30. Um, I don't know how, but somehow something happened. He heard something. I love that bugbear. Um, so that's that guy. Um, the goblin that is now flanking Corvin <laughs> and has seen through Corvin's disguise, he's going to take his attack for Or his attack. Um, and ooh. Uh, how about, how about a 10? Uh, you're looking for a 16. Okay. So no. Okay. But he attacks. Awesome. The goblin that is blinded uses his standard action to remove the blindness. The goop? Yeah. And then this one is going to follow his goblin instructions and move over here. So if he can take an opportunity attack against him. Uh, no. Well, that's... He's so he's going to move up and around. How about this? Corbin so would not move. take his opportunity attack against him. <laughs> so he's, he's not moving past those... Uh, well, that guy was standing in that spot. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So he can go there. Yeah. So he is going to um, he's going to take a a, a, long, a short bow shot at you, Corbin. Okay. Um, and that is a not going to hit. So it's going to be a fourteen. Wait a minute. Let me check something real quick. Goblins have a plus them? four, so that is actually a eighteen to hit. That'll you. hit. Even while engaged with other, while he's engaged. And that they doesn't, don't suffer that doesn't factor in anymore. Okay. Um, so six damage. Okay. Okay. Um, so that is it for the goblins. Sarsarel, it is your turn. Well, I okay. think what I'll do is I'll just hold my they action so up. that I'm not going up in front of shipwreck. Okay. Um, so you know what actually, I'll do? so you can uh, in fifth edition you cannot hold your turn anymore. Oh, really? You okay. have to ready an action only. Okay. Um, so then, you have to at least move and, uh, and then ready your action, is that? Well, you if you don't use a portion of, you can only ready an action, so you can't right. ready your okay. move. All right. right. So um, you'd need to move, get into position. If you don't use your move, you lose it. Okay. Gotcha. Oh. Well, I only have a spell left for your first level, so I guess I'll cast Thaumaturgy again. Can you cast Thunder to Bolt or Thunder Wave again? Uh, one more time, but you might want to wait. You, until I'm going to wait until I get a better position. I think better uh, position than right in the middle of everybody. Well, well I don't. I, I he doesn't want to catch you in it. Yeah, and he'd hit you. Um. I could <laughs> do it here and hit these guys, but I take an attack of opportunity, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. When you cast spells, you don't take an attack of opportunity. If you cast a range spell, you do it at a disadvantage. But if you are doing one with a saving throw, it just um, happens. Yeah. So that would probably just barely miss him uh, if it's 15 feet. 5, 10, 15. No, it hits him. Yeah, oh, it, it will. Oh, yeah. okay. So you move up and okay. do that? And you yeah. have your I'm thing, do right? So you can maximize it? Yeah, I'm going to just maximize it. So they just need to each make a 13. Jeez. Okay. Con save, and then hopefully not kill me. Okay, so 15? Yeah. So what they're going for? 13. 13. 13. Oh, wait. So. The hobgoblin's readied action is going to happen when you move into his oh, space. Oh, excellent. So, he did ready an action to attack you. Okay. Um, <laughs> and, oh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, nine. <laughs> no, not for him. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. I'll take that. So, uh, he swings at you. Great. Um, and now he needs to make a con saving throw? Yeah. All right, and it's 15? 13. Okay, he does not save. The goblin does not save. The six-legged rat. rat. The rat ravage. Um, it's, uh, it's in the twenties. Okay. Um, and then the bugbear 
Slackjaw is going to go ahead and go, and he does not save. So he Excellent. So anybody who does not save takes 16 damage and is pushed back 10 feet. Okay. Hell yeah. So uh, and then the rat creature takes 8. So I assume that goblin's dead. Yeah, the goblin de dies. So he's goo. The hobgoblin also dies. Oh, oh thanks. Wow, okay. Yeah, okay, and, and then he's pushed back 10 feet. Wow. And that's it for that. Okay. That's pretty good. Don't die, anybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're on your own. <laughs> Survival of the fittest mode now? Do, nice. do one of these. <laughs> the dealer has Oh, won. and there's a massive thunder crash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, why don't you make a perception check? Excellent. Fifteen. Fifteen? Is that an eleven? Yeah. Um, Sixteen. Yeah, okay. You hear some disturbance in this room. The 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 other room. There's like a Oh it's like a motorcycle screeching rally. and like so yeah. a motorcycle rally. Um, <laughs> As it starts. <laughs> okay. So, so bad. Um <laughs> the hobgoblin that so could bad. have gone is dead. Is dead. Oh shit. shipwreck. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and move up in between these guys then. Thank okay. You. Hey, hello. Hello. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, rage. Because, yes. Okay. Six legged like giant rat. You should attack that giant rat thing. I'm going to attack the giant rat thing. It's not Rin. <laughs> so that's an eight. I'm going to do that. Fourth, I don't I'm going to use the eight and I'm going to roll my d6. Out. So. Six, so eight, 12. Plus. So that's a 20 to hit it. 20 hits. Yes. All right. 15 damage. All right, it takes a 15. Nice. Right. It is it's still standing. Solid hit. <clears throat> and now it has advantage against me. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, uh, Xenos. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you should come up and Rick. join the party. I guess. Oh, yeah, why don't you take on the goblins? Because yeah. you're brave and bold like that. It's a good idea. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it is Zenos, a good idea. Zenos actually. the brave is what he's. Um, to. I'm going to go ahead and fling a firebolt at the, the one goblin? that used the to be blinded. Okay. Halfling pirate in so all that's a 21. Water that hits just fine. And he hits eight fine. damage. He dies. Is he bursting the flame? There you go. Yeah, he bursts in the flame. See, come on. I turn. I'm turning goblins into torches. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, okay. You can see now. Vaziago. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh, there's things down there. <laughs> oh, that brings up a good point. So you know, you're gonna have to have your torch again. To see anything. I have a torch well, now. Well, you um, would have had to have it to see the goblin. Because you're where's in where's the other torch? utter darkness. There was it two was of them. There's here. one right there. Right there. Okay. Um, so I move, move up, up to there. Yep. And I point at the rat. And I go, soon you join your masters and you're going to die. And he can make that saving throw for a wisdom. Does he have to understand? He doesn't have to understand. Okay. He just has to hear me. All right. And this is wisdom? Yep. Or a tone kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, how about bad, a 15? Bad rat. 15 is exactly what you need. Yeah. All right. Bad, bad rat. All right. So, Ren. Blah, blah, blah. Good rat. Right. <laughs> That's what he understands. <laughs> You are not so a I good rat. So I get to there. Okay. You are not what good rats do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Rinny the Pooh. Rinny the Pooh. Poo. Okay. And then I'm so going to. So that is a move and a bonus. Yes. So you take your action? Yeah. All right. So if you move, do you only get one of your attacks or do nope. you get no, both? No, it's just an attack action. Okay. So let's get that claw bite on. Let's okay. get that claw bite on, on the rat thing. I like fifth edition. <laughs> <laughs> so I wish uh, the right direction there. 16 and a 20. Uh, the both hit, both hit. Okay. Nice. All right. Nice. So let's start with the bite. Shush. Uh, eleven on the bite. Uh, okay. And then backhanded. And then thirteen yeah, on the claw. Nice. So nice. I run. I come running around. I get around the corner and I transform. And then I'm like. <laughs> And then I dig into the bite and kind of lift him up and drop him to the ground. Okay. And I yeah. Like that. Look, at, look at this one and go. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Bug um, bear. <laughs> bear. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Uh, Bug bear. Yeah. Mr. Bear. Step back from the goblin. Can I get in the corner? We got a wind bear. Yeah. Is he here? No. No, no they. they here. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can get walk the all the way around right. him. Yeah. There's no tax opportunity. And I reach into my matted fur because to your target. 
spell is just yeah. an illusion. Are you still touching the same square? Like this. Oh. Yeah, you can walk around all day. <laughs> to that goblin? Yeah. Okay. You know that so goblin is uninjured. Like weave through okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Uh, that is a 13? Nope. <laughs> Come on, eight. Six. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. It's not enough, but it is pretty good. <laughs> but his ears start to bleed. Okay. <laughs> so that is his turn. Um, I'm going to take a page out of Matt Mercer's handbook. And um, when the bugbear charges forward to attack the bear, he's going to get advantage because he's super pissed that he's his favorite... Uh, uh, Rat, is, he, is he recklessly attacking, like a barbarian? Yeah, I, you know what? He is going to start recklessly attacking. Um, so he's going to come forward. He's going to attack you twice. Yep. Is that a head in his hand? Yes, it is. That's why I said I want to put lights in it. Oh. Um, okay. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's added in. Okay, good. All right. So how... Ooh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. An 18 and a 19 on the die. So both of those of it. Okay. And then he's going to take a second attack. Uh, that is not as good. Um, but an 11 is still going to hit still you. Still going to hit? Yeah. Ooh, so. Um, They're easy to hit, but he got a of hit points. points. All right. I get bark skin. That stops me. So, that stops at level two. So the first hit does 11. Okay. And the second hit does 15. Jeez. <laughs> and he is pissed. I would be dead. Um, the goblin. 11, 15? Yeah. The so, goblin adjacent to Corbin, the one so you attack, get, is going to I attack you back. Skin. My AC is always. And he is going to roll a 19 on the die, so he okay. hits you. It's good. It's good. And he does five damage. Okay. Uh, the goblin that's behind the bugbear is going to take a shot at the bear because that's all he can see. Actually, the two there are going to take shots at the bear. Um, and one is going to hit for an additional five damage. Okay. Uh, and that is it for them, and it is Sarcerel's turn. You want to heal the bear? Uh, I can't. I know. So uh, I'll make the bear whole. <laughs> is there a cut in him that I could just close up? I mean, it doesn't have any are healing you, effect. Are you proficient in medicine? You could stop, you could I stomp am. the bleeding. I am. Uh, I think what I will do is shit, I will yeah. call <laughs> forth the sacred yeah. flame on that. Maybe if you on the bugbear? Then I can. I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. If you don't and have that is a else to do. whiz save. Is or that or as a bonus action? I believe so. Bonus action spell level. Oh wait, I think <laughs> you have that. Yeah. Okay, 13. so he is, is going to try to. Oh, he rolled yeah. a fifteen. All right. So he saves. He's he's pissed. No, I sack a spell. Ship and he sacks a spell level and gets a d8 per spell level and heal. All right. Well. I think that goblin can take an opportunity to attack against me. Oh, he's I'm going to. I'm going to go through the bear. Uh-oh. <laughs> Two? Does a, does a six hit you? No. No, it does not. Okay. Through the bear. Through the bear. All right. We've seen this move before once. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to attack recklessly. Barbarian. Yeah. That, uh, that bugbear. Oops, that's not so great. But that's much better. I like that. So that's a 23 Mortal to hit Kombat. Uh, that, that does hit. Okay. That does hit. For 16 damage. All right. He takes your 16 damage. He sees it. And he raises you. Fight. Two attacks for 2d8 plus 5. <laughs> and then I take half damage. All right. Uh, is that the end of your turn, Shipwreck? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Xenos? Okay. You so see a goblin. Kill I him. do. Kill the goblin. Kill the goblin. Well, I could, um, I could move, up yeah. move up and move up and, and kill, grease the, and find kill, no. kill the goblin. Kill, kill the goblin. goblin? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't want it. You don't right, want him so to actively working against the bear. bear. <laughs> All right, kill, kill the goblin. So, whoa, 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 whoa. So, I got a question for you. <laughs> yes. So the no, burning like goblin here, uh-huh. that was caused by magical fire, uh-huh. but is it still magical fire or no, is that? I don't believe so. Okay. So um, I'm going to control fire then. Control flames. Okay. And the fire is now spreading to the to goblin. square. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to make him make a reflex saving throw. What is your spell save DC? 12. Oh, he saves. Well, he's still standing in a... He is. A square that's not on fire. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can move up? So that is oh, yeah, yeah. Zenos' move up. turn. Vaziago, what are you doing? I'm moving up to the hallway so I can I'm see the bugbear. Okay. And then I'm going to point at the bugbear <laughs> and go, what's the difference between a goblin and a hobgoblin? An arrow to the knee. 
Uh, and then he can make a wisdom wow. saving throw. Wow. He used to be a hobgoblin, and then he. Uh, how about a twelve? That does not make it, and no. so he goes <laughs> and goes into a hideous laughter. Oh. <laughs> and falls down. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. What, do call, what do you call a goblin? The I am like? familiar with that spell. Yeah. The hobble goblin. Oh, oh hobble. Ooh, Ren. Hobble um, so he is prone now, so you have advantage <laughs> on your attacks. Mm hmm. <laughs> I hated and that spell. The, every time he gets attacked, he does get to make the save yeah. again. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, yeah, but he's going to still he's get gonna advantage eat it on first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so bite first. Okay. Uh, let's see, 17. Um, mm. Yeah. Okay. He makes it first, so he's not. He's not. And alive. then oh, let's see. Let he may not be alive. Uh, that will be that seven points for the first attack. The seven. Giggles. Okay. Yeah. And then claw. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Only an eleven. Okay. He did. That does not hit him. Oh no! I will go ahead and as a bonus act because he can get up, right? As On his turn, he can. As, get up. And uh, then he can attack. Yeah. He's got quite a few targets. I'm gonna go ahead and um, sack a spell to heal. Okay. Um, okay, so that's Ren, Corbin. You are at a disadvantage to attack him from being prone, but. Right, do I have a goblin right in front of me? Yeah, you do. You do. I mean, I guess. Ding, ding, ding. I'll just keep ringing the bell. Does it, does, does it do half damage on a save? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. He didn't save. And he takes his one hit point and dies. <laughs> oh, hey, well, no, he took two hit points. <laughs> well, he still died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, can I move back behind Xenos? Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Here? yeah. Okay. You didn't want to move into the other room? Uh, you know. Do you want to make a perception Corbin's check? not feeling real good right now. So, uh, Do you want to make a no. perception check? Sure. How? <laughs> uh, 11. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, you definitely hear something from the other room, too. So I'll start moving out. There's definitely something <laughs> back there. <laughs> okay, uh, so that is Corbin. So it is now the bugbear's turn. He stands up. Um, does. does he make that save at the end of his turn? He made it when he got attacked. He, mm. Yeah, he got hit. And um, he got advantage. He made it on the first one. Yeah. There's a chance he would have been locked into it for a minute, but it's low. So okay. he is going to uh, do two attacks on you. Uh, so the first one is not great, but still hits you because you got an eleven. Uh, actually, both hit. Sorry, I forgot. I don't have advantage. So, um, um, okay. So attack number one deals uh, eight. Okay. Attack number two deals fifteen. Oh snap! Yeah. Okay. So Slackjaw's not messing around. He's the boss seven. of this level. So one rolls, and then what was the second attack? Slack jaws, no slack uh, Second attack was uh, an eight plus five is 13, so it's 15 damage total. All I need is the second attack was... Dan yeah. 15 damage. That's what he's telling you. The second attack was 15? Yes. Wow. Well, when you roll 2d8 and you add you, plus five. You need to bonus that action. I already bonus action to heal. No, on your turn. Yeah, you I know. need to mm -hmm. ship right well, back I into know. a bear. Yes, I know. I am well aware. <laughs> uh, I so am that hurt. is his turn. The two goblins are going to take shots at you, Mike. <gasps> when you come out of wild shape, are you at full again? And they, they, um, so they shoot wildly. It down rolls. The hallway. Damage rolls. <clears throat> if I go back into bear, I've got the same uh, hit I had before I went into bear. Okay. Uh, 13 DC uh, deck save to, to the bugbear. Okay. Uh, 18. Yeah, he makes it. Uh, I'll make another perception check to see if I can figure out what that sound is sure. right here. Are you training? Are you proficient in nature? Uh, I'm not proficient in nature. But what'd you get on your? I got a 23 on my. Uh, 20. Yeah, 23. Doesn't sound like bats. There's some clapping. <laughs> All right. Maybe it's just fairies or twinkly dinklies. Yeah, twinkly dinklies. Um, okay. Uh, do you? Oh, you did your action. Okay. Shipwreck. So you recklessly? Yeah. So that's a twenty-three to hit him. Power. Yeah, that hits him. Oh. Mm, two on the die. Eight. Eight. Okay, he takes eight. How's he looking? Uh, he's definitely uh, bloodied. He is far. 
far into bloodied at this point. Okay. Thanks. Okay, Xenos. All right, well, I'll stand between the uh, two burning <laughs> goblins. <laughs> so with the, the burning corpses flanking me on either side there. Backlit, backlit. Yeah. One of those was your torch. Uh, well, yeah, but I've got two bodies sure, that are burning okay, about okay. right there. That's I mean, metal as fuck. You know. <laughs> um, so I point at the uh, the goblin, the hobgoblin there, and I just say, "You're next," and uh, that would be a fourteen to hit him with a firebolt. No, no <laughs> it's, it's coming. It does not. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. coming. The, the bear gets in the way, and you have to pull your shot um, up a little a bear bit. Hair and he's not a bear. Um, him. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, back in human form. You're Ren. Oh, yeah. Well, we so need to get Ren on the. I don't. You, you might as well leave me there. You can leave the bear there. I, I'm not a bear right now, but it's I will be in a hard. second. Vaziago, <laughs> <laughs> um, since I'm right there, can I also make that check? I am proficient in nature. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's. Do we think it's important? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what's down that hallway? It no. hasn't come out yet. It hasn't it's come out sure. yet. So. Yeah. Uh, you know what? It's not important. Use it or lose it. I'm gonna go ahead and spend that. All right. I'm gonna roll this again. Yeah, you doubled your Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be... That's only 11, though. <laughs> um, I will say, because you're proficient in nature, I will give you a... It is an easier check for you. Um, it definitely sounds like uh, dire mosquitoes. Otherwise known as... Esturges. Esturges. Oh. Sturges. I hate Sturges. I Everyone hates Sturges. And uh, that didn't take my action, did Sturges. it? That did not Sturges. take your action. Awesome. No. So I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> you know what? It's going to be your super zombie Sturge. Sturge? Yeah, the Sturge. Yeah. Uh, he can go ahead and make another wisdom saving throw. He probably can't, though. But he should that's anyways. A, that's a 10. Okay, that's cool. So he's going to eat this. So he takes one psychic damage, but more importantly, he has disadvantage on his next attack. Yeah, I figured that that was what that was. Ooh, which means if he just get a normal attack against me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's uh, the goal. <laughs> okay, so that is Vaziago, Ren. You turn back into a bear? That's... In a boo! Yeah, let's do the bear. All right. Bear. So... Okay. <laughs> uh, start with the bite. No. There you go. That'll hit. So that was the claw. Uh, nah, eight. Okay. Twelve uh, points of damage. Twelve total? Yeah. And that puts him down. So how do you, describe how this happens, Frank. So I, um, so I'm hurt. So I'm kind of holding, I'm kind of holding my guts. And mm. I go and I turn back into a bear. And I nip at him. And mm. when he dodges the, when he dodges the bite, it brings him right to my claw. Mm. And I just bring it up. And I claw him from <laughs> pillar to pose. Oh. I just go right up. And he goes and he and falls back. Blood. Everywhere. Yeah. Just nothing but stuff and fluff. No stuff and fluff. No. Uh, Corbin? Uh, I'm going to cast Armor of Agathis on myself. Ooh. I take a little cup of water. What does it look like when you do this? Pull a cup out, pour a little water in it, and then I just <laughs> pour it over my head. <laughs> As it drips down, it starts to form a frost. It just covers over my body. Now that, is, like, that is metal. <laughs> <laughs> It's chilly. <laughs> now, for for those who don't watch Critical Role, what does Armor of Agathis do? Uh, it gives me five temporary hit points, mm -hmm. and if I take melee damage while I have any of those hit points, the person who caused that damage takes five cold damage. Oh. And uh, how long does it last? An hour. Okay. That's, I figured it would probably be an extended period of time. They're pretty generous with their durations. Um, okay. So, anything you want to do with your move or your bonus? Do you have Hex? I do. Okay. You but haven't used it yet. Yeah, well, the Hex that's free really only benefits me. Okay. Um, the Hex that I have that's great, I haven't had a chance to use on anybody who stood up long enough yet. So. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, Fair enough. <laughs> you done? Who has healing potions? Me. I have one. You have one? We have a total did we, well. too. Did we get some from? You had two. Okay. Uh, I don't know who's carrying them. I, I was given one by the old lady, the storm crow. Um, so, I'm holding the one. Tempest. Crow. I probably would have grabbed. Yeah, the tempest crow. Um, the tempest crow. I mean, you should definitely, you should definitely trust those healing potions. They're, they're sweet. 
Uh, <laughs> Auntie Galda's just a really old elf. She's just a really old elf. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Uh, so DM3 is done. Uh, the two goblins are going to uh, move away um, and then fire arrows. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Uh, okay, so one is going to be at Mike, and one is going to be at Frank. Frank, um, that is going to be well. Frank, do you want black or red? Black, baby. All right. So that is going to be a twenty-three versus your <laughs> AC. <laughs> Did Wesley Snipes teach us nothing? Uh, you <laughs> take, you you take three damage, but here's the more important part, Mike. That leaves you with red, which w was a sixteen. Oh, you would have been hit either way. Yeah. You, you would have been hitting anyway. He would not. Gotcha. That actually didn't really work. <laughs> yeah. Jink. For the party. So um, that's them. Sarsarella, just now you're trying to have damage. Uh, you the one closer to me needs to make a, a dex saving throw. DC 13. Dex saving throw. 13? Yeah. Sure. You got it. Ah. Shipwreck? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just walk right up here. 5, 10, 15, 20. Look at that. Oh. Hello, guys. What's up? What's up there, fellas? Uh, first one, um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm always just going to be reckless. Cause yeah. Um, so that's a 16 to hit him. 16 hits him. So six, uh, nine damage. Yeah, he dies. Which one did you kill? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll go with that one. Number one. Uh, sure. Okay. Xenos? Yeah, uh, Tag bolt the two. other one. All right. That's an 18. Him. You hit him. For five fire damage. Okay. He takes five. He's still alive. Oh, uh, Baziogo. Uh, I'm gonna move. S the sound was it coming from this direction or that direction? I'm guessing it's this direction, but I the yeah, one. never know. Yeah, the you one, never yeah. Know. <laughs> um, I'm gonna move into the hallway. Okay. Uh, in front of the bear. Yeah, and then the one that took damage, I'm gonna be like, you know, I am a lot less scared of you than whatever's coming that way. Okay. <laughs> you can go ahead and make that save. <laughs> All right. And what's the save DC? 15. Oh, natural one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he missing. eats four psychic damage. Oh, he dies. He dies. Um, okay, so what would you guys like to do now? Uh, I think a lot of goblins guys. are coming uh, that, that way. That goblin is not there. Which one? This one? Yeah. What about, what about that one over one? there? They're gone. I will fill you guys in that I, there are dire sturges coming. I am. They're not dire sturges. Yeah, but they're, they're giant, they're giant mosquitoes. mosquitoes. Giant like mosquito hawks. That sounds like it would suck. <laughs> and then I go walking past. <laughs> I'm like, don't want that. Yeah. Okay, so you walk in this one. into yeah. the into the cavern area. Mm -hmm. So once you get into the main room, there you start hearing uh, the sound of a, a voice calling for help. Oh, I will answer the call. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hey! Huh? Come in here! Don't change the camera. Yeah, why don't you move that <laughs> to, <laughs> to over here? So you open the door. I open the door. Um, this was formally. Wait, how many rounds was that? Is that less than 10? Not yet. Why? I slam the door open with my thumb material. It's still going. <laughs> sure. So I don't have to touch it. I open it from 30 sure. feet away. Um, so this was the um, captain's... Uh, captain? Captain of the guard <laughs> oh. quarters. Um, it had been confiscated by Slackjaw. And uh, the, there is a dwarf in the... What do you have, Mike? The Sorry, hang on. He's playing. Okay. I'm editing things so that things aren't overlapping. Really the, there's a dwarf in a cage. Uh -huh. And he says, did you kill it? Did you kill the thing? The giant rat monster thing? No, I'm thinking about the guy that has been torturing me with the head of my brethren. The bugbear? Yes. No, yeah. He's okay. Dead. Good. We, Can you let me out of here? For the glory of Umberly, he died. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> More than be praised. <laughs> Mike, I can move it a little bit. Uh, can, can you let me out of here, please? Yeah, I guess. Okay. So, um, is there a lock? He tells you that um, there should either be keys on the bugbear's corpse or over there on the table. I look on the table. Uh, make an investigation check. <clears throat> Five. Uh, yeah, uh, it must be on the the corpse of the, the body. Right. Uh, what you do find is there are two chests um, that look like they have whatever was taken here 
in combined into the two chests. Oh, okay. So this is the dwarves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. So, can I walk in? Yeah. Do you still look like a hobgoblin? So when he comes walking out, uh -huh. I go walking in. You see the the dwarf, and he's like, and he gets like the the most hateful look on his face. I'm like. Over here looking for the <laughs> grab one of the chests. I'm like, govern. <laughs> I'm walk out of the room. I'm down this way. Okay. All right. Uh, can I search I'll... the body of the bugbear? Sure. There? That's what I was about to do. Sure. He has a morning star. Um, he has a uh, a couple of javelins that he didn't end up using. Does he have any keys on him? Uh, no, he does not have keys Dang on him. It. I go back. <laughs> well, I. I, I Go into the oh, uh, office. Did I see any keys? Yeah, I'm there was keys. the lock. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I, I go back to the room. Thing called an axe. Okay. Should I make a perception check to see if I notice if there's a chest missing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You don't have to make a perception check. Oh, there I is know. now one chest. You can count. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> you uh, <laughs> The hop yeah. goblin didn't have a keys. Out. Where'd that chest go? <laughs> uh, there was a hop goblin that just walked in and took it and a set of keys. I think it's the keys that we're looking for to get me out of here. I'll go find them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go in there. I'm going to try to open the lo open the uh, chest. Okay. You're going just, in there? It just flips open. Okay. okay. Is there anything in it? Which? Uh, in the, the room? The yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's 200. So it wasn't locked? No. Oh, well, shoot. <laughs> there's 220 gold pieces. Do you do realize that the eight, dwarf... 800 silver pieces in the chest. Looting it You're not right going to be able to get 800 <laughs> silver. <clears throat> so, Which is I, uh, is I break the happen? lock. Okay. Like, Did you try opening like, it first? They well, weren't locked. Thank God. They, Didn't no, you the, come out? The cage. Yeah, I came oh, out. Okay. I'm just trying the it corner. The dwarf oh. If, hey. Is the chest locked? No. That's why I grabbed the keys. No. So, so there's lock a chest. another <laughs> 220 <laughs> gold pieces and 800 silver pieces. Hey, what are you doing? There's also a potion. That gold is the dwarven gold. Sorry, guys. Uh, I just the keys. remember the, the yeah, you remember Yeah, you break them. Like, hey, there's I a take, dwarf in here. I take, <laughs> I take the keys and I go back in. Have you already broken the yeah. lock? I got the <laughs> <laughs> keys. So I got a key right here. It's got two ends on it. Yeah. So sharp. I should, have, I should have asked. I put like, my log fixed away. He says, thank God that You're you welcome. guys came. Yeah. Thank, thank the gods. Thank Morden. No. Yes. That you came. Thank Umberly. That's one of the gods, yes. And sure. <laughs> um, what, was our, oh, what was our percentage on this thing? 50%? Uh, 100% of what we find, and then they're going to pay us when we get back. Oh, cool. All right. Um, Wait, what? Yeah, that was the deal. Whatever we find? Yeah. Oh, nobody told me that. Yeah, no, that was the deal. Oh. Sounds right to me. Yeah. All right. Well, don't forget my share. Oh, don't I, worry. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'll donate it to the church for you. Don't <laughs> ah! <laughs> Always around for the money. Um, I, can I ride the bears? <laughs> so, <laughs> I think so. Let's see. I think it's allowed. Anyway, anyway. Um, 21 athletics. <laughs> he says, His hand, I um, goblins stormed mm -hmm. in. They took... That's only uh, they killed our sentries and took control of as much as I am aware of, which is uh, he describes this level fairly mm -hmm. well. Um, and he said he says that a a larger force uh, went downstairs. He believes. Do you know what their purpose is here? What their intention is? The hobgoblin that seemed to be the leader said that they needed to get. Treasure for the ember flame. For the ember flame. Should I make a knowledge? Uh, anything like religion? It would be history. Or history? history? Okay. Yeah. Um, Surprisingly, I do not have history. I have I history. What's have everyone history. else's history? I don't one. have history. One? Mm. So I got one, one but I'm three. not trained. Five? I'm not there. You have to be You're trained to give yeah. advantage, right? He's wrong. So yeah. Yeah. I only have religion. Okay. So can I hear them talking from around the corner? Well, he would have come out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's he not out. sitting in the cage that's now on my would, well, You never can tell. <laughs> Stockholm. Yeah. Um, I would have gone back to looking like a human. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to assist you in doing it then. I found this chest that I got off a gob. Because I know by now that when it comes oh, to no, stuff, that's not the way he's going to lean on his knowledge it's a bit. emptied out. All right. Yeah, I'll ember flame. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Make a history check. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's keep that one. Let's see if I get a double back 20. 
Nope. 25. <laughs> 25. So you would know um, that there is an entity known as the Ember Flame, and you know that uh, even with the 25, you don't know what that em entity is. But you, um, you do know that there are um, goblinoid followers called the Legion of Ember Flame. Um, and they appear to worship whatever this entity is as a deity. Well, that is sacrilegious, and we have to put a stop to it. That is probably why Umberly sent us on this charge. Uh, what's, that, what's the layout down below? Uh, he describes to you, so he says um, there is a, there is two stairwells um, that split once you go down here. Uh, one stairwell leads to the um, to the citadel itself proper, um, and the other leads to where we brew the ale. Um, and <laughs> and um, it doesn't smell great, so we try to keep it away from mm -hmm. the the good. living spaces. Um, and he says that the brewing coves are are off to the coves. left. Or yeah, I think that those are probably going to be the yeast of our worries. Heavy side. Wow. I'm Heavy pretty sure we know where Corvin dies. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy Drowning in the field. So, um, in the he is willing to journey with you. Excellent. Um, uh, because he wants some revenge. All right. Okay. What's his name? Uh, his name is uh, Gyrodil. Gyrodil? Yeah. And he takes the head of the, 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 the no, he takes the head that the bugbear was holding. His buddy, oh. yeah, that's his brother, right? Sad, sad. Panda. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's his companion. Are, oh, you're a panda now? Okay. <laughs> Have you seen a panda yet? I've not, not seen a panda. Can't be a panda. I can't be a panda. Just lie. <laughs> Just lie. <laughs> it's I'll a sad world. Um, I'll find a book. Do you guys about go downstairs? Um, um, first, we have to deal with these. Um, yeah. yeah. I think I'm gonna get my octopus out. Oh, okay. And send it to scout ahead. It has it's proficient in stealth. Okay. And it has dark vision. How long have we been kind of okay. milling about? Because that'll five minutes. Uh, I mean, as long as it took maybe maybe fifteen. Short rest. Okay. <laughs> so um, it's got a it's got a twenty one on its stealth. Okay. And then with dark vision, are those things hiding? I mean, if it goes. They're around. on the ceiling. Okay, so looking around, it would see them. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they're. Within 60 feet of me? No, 120 feet of me. The of your familiar, you mean? or Of, of you? me personally. Oh, okay. They're within 120 feet of me. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, standing far enough back, I could just try shooting at him with Firebolt. Do it. Do it. All by yourself? Or no, 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 no. No, <laughs> I would want everyone else to have a, have a plan. Mm -hmm. But at least I know what's, what's there. I have holes in myself. Mm. Yeah. Here, mm. this is a healing potion. Drink that. Alright, how many? It's 2d4 for a plus 2. Cool. Um, that's something. That's better than what these guys are giving us. That's from so what each other. This guy. What I is everybody it. at as far as daily resources? Is I'm out of rages. So yeah. of the spells at level 1 that I get, I have this many left. Okay, zero. <laughs> I'm, I, zero I'm a short rest away from being full. Full, of I know. You, you I, am, I am out of... Shifts. Shifts. And I'm pretty banged up. If I get knocked back in human form, I'm probably going to go out. I have Cure Wounds still, and I have three more Bardic Inspirations. So there's this room with beds. <laughs> I've got, I got two of my first level spells of. Um, but. I took a nice nap in there uh, for about an hour. Do, um, we want, do we think we want to take on these things or rest first and then get a long rest well, and then come back? It just depends on what you want me to do in that fight. <laughs> if like it's if nothing. you just want me to walk. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I mean, we can do that you now. Can now. You can take your flame all day long. I, I could sacred flame. I could, uh, I could give you a bonus to your save. So, uh, Garadil, uh, it, he's slowly like figuring out what you're talking about because you guys haven't told him what's going on. Yeah. He's like, oh, the Sturges? Yeah. Just don't bother them. We can go down the stairs just fine. Oh. Uh, they won't attack well, us. It's what's after the stairs that we're. That, yeah, about. there's that too. Yeah, but he says, you know, if you don't bother the Sturges, they'll. They, won't, just, they will leave you alone. Oh, because okay. they haven't bothered the, I mean, the goblins. Like, yeah, the right. goblins have come and gone. So if they're above okay. the stairs, right? Yes. So really they're stairs. 
No. If you want to take that away. Yeah. 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 That is fair. And equitable. That is fair. So equitable that's, three, that's not on camera, but inspiration from Dune and then take it away. Yeah. Take it away. Um, so they, um, he says, yeah, if you, if you want to take a long rest, you could, you certainly could. Um, he says that he's willing to, if you give him a weapon, he's willing to guard. Um, he can go get some dwarven armor off of the, uh, Bloated corpses. the bodies. So he's got a bit of okay. fight to him. Um, and you guys can barricade yourselves in a room and, and rest. Well, we um, can go one? back there and close the, the secret doors, right? Yeah. 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 Can I go outside with the dwarf and just, like, help him maybe not just leave the bodies of the dwarves yeah. out to yeah, yeah, yeah. rot? Yeah. We can well, go okay. some while they're doing that, can we grab both the chests? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you already got the chest. I grabbed one of the chests. Right, and he got the other yeah, one. Yeah, he got the chest. chest. Yeah. He emptied the other oh, one into his yeah. pockets. Is... So we should, we should yeah. put those in. Yeah, we should move those around. Um, those, those so are your pockets. All right. And you guys take yeah. a long rest. They were just empty. Um, we're going to so. have to bring the other map out. 440 okay, so gold. Okay. So we're going to do a break then, yeah. We'll take, Seven, a, we'll take a quick... We'll take a quick break. It'll be almost instantaneous for the viewing audience. Crazy! What? It's like it's magic. Television magic on the interwebs. And Live. Instantaneously. Welcome back. <laughs> so. I can't wait to see that cut. It's going to be great. <laughs> You're the best around. Yeah. As, as Garadil takes you down the stairs, you, you were able to long rest without incident. Uh, as Garadil takes you down the stairs, um, the corridor that would lead to the Dwarven Citadel is um, is collapsed. Um, and I'm not going to make you guys make perception checks. You can hear dwarves on the other side. You can hear the sounds of mining going oh, on. Like, like they're, they're trying to get through. Yeah. And um, if you guys are... Whoever's proficient in nature can sure. uh, make some checks. Okay. Uh, I will assist you because I'm you're going to be 90% sure you have a better nature than I do. Actually, no. What's your nature? Mine's three. Okay, so it's mine. We're straight up even. All right, he's assisting you. Okay, here we go. Knowledge, combat, you know what kind of hammers you? <laughs> they were both tens, so 13. Okay. <laughs> so at the pace, uh, well, so from the sound far, uh, the sound that's traveling through, mm -hmm. it sounds like a significant portion of the tunnel has been collapsed, and it will take them days to mm. dig out. Just probably why they sent us. Um, <laughs> you, you also notice that the portion that's closest to you that's not been as collapsed is burned uh, by acid. Acid? Acid. Oh, man. Nature. Well, I'm you're gonna... assisting him, so oh. yeah. that's um, how that works. Yeah, that's that's acid. I see. Well, and it's just pitted stone, so it's it's pretty so easy it just, to it's identify. Been burned into. And there's so on the floor where the rubble is not covering, there's another. There's a big pool of pitted stone that has been eaten away. Mm. This looks probably familiar and problematic on every level. Yeah. But especially this level, because this is where most of the damage is. No. <laughs> I'm just going to throw this out here real uh -huh. quick, you know. Um, I mean, we got those chests. <laughs> and you know the dwarves on the other side of this collapse are safe. <laughs> they're soup. They're back there. They're going to be there for a while. I mean. Um, Garadil says uh, there <laughs> were other dwarves that were on... Um, the entry level that were captured and taken below. Oh, well, we gotta go mm. rescue them, I guess. All right, yeah. let's keep on moving. There goes the collapse, the tunnel idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he leads you further down, um, and the stairway that you're uh, traveling down uh, opens into a cavern. Um, so a loud waterfall echoes uh, from the northwest tunnel of this cavernous space. A large pillar of stone dominates the cave here. Um, and a, an old wooden door stands in a wall of dressed stone to the east. Uh, muffled sounds of goblins can be heard beyond the door. Gabrick. Gabrick. And it sounds like this. Gabrick, Gabrick, Gabrick. 
Gabriel, 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 Saying something about shipwrecks, mother. I don't know what it was, but it doesn't. <laughs> oh, that is not. <laughs> I go into a rage. Oh, 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 oh my god! It, it looks like they just made that connection too. That's <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, the profanity so, these guys. So what what are you salty? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing at this point? Because you probably we should probably have some minis on the uh, well, map. We so we're all in probably here. Probably like to uh, stealth. I would think. You, you started. I'm, you started there. Clink, clink, you clink, know that Sarsarel, uh, or Sarsarel, yeah, oh, has clink, disadvantage clink. while he's moving around. Yeah. Which is fine. He has jingly chain. What about chain. our clink, dwarf? Clink, clink. What if the rest of us get in position and then Sarsarel moves a, up? He's just wearing a breastplate. So as he's the okay. eight, okay. clink, clink, and then they come out thinking, "Oh, I think that's a good idea." Yeah, there's a guy over here, and then we all jump. You wanna? You wanna? Try to fail. A well, we want to get set up first, and then have them try to fail as they come in. Okay. Room. Okay. Um, but we should definitely scout it out first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, where's that octopus? Uh, in my pocket. Well, Thunder that. wave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you scout him out again? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Is so so that's the sneaky thing. Yeah. Pretty well, uh, not specific. it's just I'm a little bit sneakier than it is, but it has dark vision. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is also mostly cool. the dark. He's a lot less Ooh. sneakier than it is. I cast light on the octopus huh? to help him. So you're a lot less sneakier because when you sneak around, you have to have a torch with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I got an eleven for it to be sneaky. That's why those shoes okay. are so um, important. And with dark vision, I don't know where my octopus oh, is. Um, we haven't Something heard the result better. of the eleven yet. Uh, yep. I'm gonna go ahead and throw you an Here's inspiration for that stealth. If oh, you should I just go ahead and, go use ahead that. and roll that? Okay. Yeah. All right, that would be a four, so that makes it a fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the the very well hidden, octopus. creepy looking octopus, um, scuttle, 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 scuttles, and it scuttle. um, and looks around, and I'll make perception checks. Scuttle the bumblebee spider octopus. Just to make sure I know what's going on over here. That's Let's nasty. see here. Spider. Its perception mm-hmm. is plus two. Okay. Wow, that's so, good. Yeah, it's a six. Not so good. Not so good. Okay. So it reports back everything. Um, it seems. So well, no, I go, can see through it. Does it go all so around the space? Huh? Does it go all around the space? Yeah. And, okay. So um, it when it gets close to the door, it mm-hmm. hears muffled sound of goblins. Okay. Um, they seem to. Well, make an insight check. Um, Is it a goblin that would be a song? seven. You can't. They speak a different language than you do. They they do. Um, it's unfortunate. Clink, clink, clink. So it looks clear. We should move up. Um, we're not seeing anything. There's no, there's no sentries posted. Okay, so it's just right. over by the door, mm-hmm. and there's some talking, but we don't know what they're saying. Right. And I'll relay that. How do we want to approach the? How That's, do we want to approach that room? Uh, I could cast Thumbtarge and then just slam the door open. That would be fantastic. Why don't we do that after everyone else is in position to ambush them? And then we all charge in and start murdering goblins. Do we want to murder them in the room or do we want to pull them out here? (laughs) We don't know what's in the room. That's true. Open chat, open chat, open chat. (laughs) I'll be like, (laughs) what then? Okay, so where are you going to set yourselves up? Yeah, so how do we want to do this? So I think Tank, your beefier guy, should probably be up around here because we're going to pull them here. Okay, then... so you're going to try to pull them out? Yeah. Yeah, so, well, if we have the the not sneaky guy come this way, yeah. Mm-hmm. so they come out this way, then we shut the door and we murder the ones that are out here. Okay. <laughs> okay. That works. And so... then, we, then we move into the room or post at the door and then either pull them out or slowly yeah. move in. So okay. I can stand right about here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Still do things. And snipe them. Yep. Uh, I can actually I can I can, do some range stuff too. I could put I could grease right outside the front door. Don't. No, because we're gonna need to go in. There. I know, so I know. Climb but up on top of this. Mm, yeah. Ooh, what are you thinking? Can well, you? I mean, it's possible um, for you to climb up on it. Can you? We'll see. <laughs> Never mind. Can I throw him? Absolutely. Yeah. What? <laughs> I have a damage by level chart. <laughs> what do you mean? How tall are you? Level. I could be up there. I've, I've got range for days with Eldritch Blast. So. Yeah. Okay. So you want to head up there? Can you climb up there? What's your climb? I mean, it's athletics, right? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, I got a three. All right. Make a climb check. Seventeen. You you make it up right up there just fine. All right. 
The um, face is coming off. It's oh, just yeah. their brain. They do that. Where do you oh, want to big. be? Where do you want to be? Well, I know one that's not as sneaky. So yeah, he's going to come over here. Once you're in position, right, I'll yeah. come up we'll around on the back corner there. I actually have a, I found a miniature. So are you good with what being right there, Mike? What about your dude? Uh, the closer. HD Minis Merchant. Do you want me to paint him for you? Like ham hocks, fat, you be? everything. Um, nice. And he's got like a punch I want to be one hand that we can right put a sword into. Because so. I can jump okay. in after right. spells yeah, into melee and help you guys out. So I want to be right behind you guys. Orc sword pack. Or something. Um, okay. And then you want Sarsarel on the other side. Yeah, where do yeah, you want to be? Yeah, so I'm kind of trying to figure out. So you just let me know what style you want. I mean, it's your AC like is jagged. 18. It's true. Gnarly looking. Um, it's decent. And it's 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 level two. I'll be <laughs> here. It's as good as his. Kind of back over. him up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, All right. We in the trap position? All right. Yeah, I believe so. All, All right. right. Knock on the door. So uh, you're oh. opening the door? Yeah. Uh, with Thalmaturgy? Yeah. Is that the plan? I don't yeah. What are, yeah, yeah. are we going to ready any actions when people come out? Or, or? Mm, yeah, you start you can jingling and that. jingling. Let's, and then let's uh, roll for some some Well, I guess we're not, if, if we're going off of one person's initiative, then we don't really have to even roll because sure. it's. Um, okay. Because yeah. Howard is going to make yeah. the noise. If you guys are all waiting until yeah. Howard does something. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Yeah. Um, jingle, 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 jingle. Okay. Jingle, jingle. So. I you guys a, can uh, prepare the battlefield if you want. I rolled a two sure. on my stealth check. What do you, how do you want to do this? Well, you're, you're far enough away from the door. Okay. It doesn't matter. You can get in position. So, you're going to cast a spell to open the door. Mm -hmm. They're going to see you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which means they should come towards you, and then we've got. Which is great. Start the murder. Yeah. That's yeah. right. So is that the right. plan? Yeah. yeah. That's the plan. And, and then I'm I'll just close the door once enough guys have come out that we just want to. Yeah, like murder. I'm going to ready an action it to... Uh, Are you going to actually mock. be at the door when you open no. it? No, he's got a spell that does it. First can, guy that one of the go, starts to change. engage shipwreck over here. I can slam open or shut door. Then I will the door and bolt the second guy out the door. <laughs> Run. There you go. Okay. So everybody ready? As opposed to sitting yeah, outside and just opening the door. I but did you want to ready anything well, before more to hide there? As you want to ready like an Eldritch Blast? Oh, oh. Did you want to? Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. I mean, I'll, I'll go All right. open I, the door and actually, then everybody's I'll just run running attacks, right? from yeah. the door. Already a, uh, told I'll open the door. Oh, there you I'll go. I'll let out a surprised one. gas. That go out? <gasps> and then run away. Okay. Somebody hits an enemy, I'll You'll pull the dead. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. So. Heck, I could even use Thaumaturge to open the door as an instantaneous action. Uh, you could actually probably use cast a cast a sacred flame on the first goblin I see in the room just to do it and then run away. Yeah, do that <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> that. I'm gonna do that. So okay. the door slams open with a gust of wind. The door slams open with a gust of wind. Something combustible. Hopefully, there's something in there. <laughs> there are. Um, I grab my pants. Some goblins. A Did you wear your brown? Yeah. Pants? If you if you see something come, no, they're blue. Uh, would you like to take a moment to count the number of goblins in there? Uh, no. I just look at the the first one I see. Okay. See, it makes a DC one, thirteen two, dex save. Okay. DC thirteen <laughs> dex save. What, what was the rating? Uh, rolled a uh, twenty. Uh, so it, it. Oops. I run away. It New episode. Has, uh, yeah. So we we get to still use that one. one. I'm still, still good. Thirteen. Still solid, yeah. baby. Still Kay. solid. Yeah. One. <laughs> what? No, it was his rating system. Of, that was my. It's, oh, it's an oops. <laughs> okay. He's right about right. in the middle. So, so two, two, oops, the fire two, glows two. around him. What you see as you open the door, uh, the door gives way grudgingly, revealing a cracked barrel uh, that is wedged uh, against it. Uh, workstone uh, and a workstone chamber beyond. Uh, the smell of ale is thick uh, in the air, and you can hear the splashes of. Um, should just light up the angle. Mm. I'm thinking about it. Sacred Whoa! Oh, sacred flame, <laughs> flame, flame bolt. Just set it on fire. Sacred flame. The I'm gonna go bolted. ahead and use and then the, I can the veto on the flame. that one. Oh! You can make it jump. So hold on. I could. Yep. Um. And you hear the splashing of several bodies. Um. That in a shows in shows of glee. The chamber is filled with casks of ale. All along the walls, some appear to be broken open and drained of its contents. Um, these goblins are heavy, heavy yeah. in their cups. Nice. Um, so they might actually be easy to kill. They, 
you wouldn't know because you uh, the one that you've attacked uh, succeeded on it saving sure. throw. Um, but they oh, are it's heavily drunk. The, <laughs> um, the one that that actually sees what's happening here stumbles out of the door after you. Okay. Um, but That's the it. rest of them don't take any <laughs> notice of what's going on. Excellent. Um, Excellent. So <laughs> um, it's going to move to attack you. Um, it gets... 30 feet of movement, so He would probably, probably wouldn't have gone all the way back. What's your movement? 30. 30? So, unless it was adjacent to the door, it, it wouldn't was get not to adjacent it. to no. the door. No. There was a cracked oh, right. barrel yeah. that was adjacent to the okay. door. And um, it moved 30 from... from yeah, that was it. 15, 20, 25. They were close. Okay. All right. So, does somebody's ready action go off when yeah, he it was wanders yours. out? Mine was to engage at, to be oh. fair, I said when they engage engages. a meal yeah. against, and I, said I the, thought he was going to attack. So, and I said the next guy out the door, so. That's okay. how ready action started. But you were going to. Okay. I told the dead if somebody hits a goblin. Okay. okay. So Shipwreck, what are you doing? I was waiting until more than one came out. Well, oh. so so um, we're I, now in initiative yeah. because okay. you got none of your ready to action happened. I uh, this goblin went on this. I, I look in and I see that none of the goblins are looking at the door. No. I they're just they're heavily <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Close the door. door. Okay. As stealthily um, as I can? Yeah, why don't you make a stealth check? One. <laughs> oh, Shit! So <okay>. you <laughs> close the door, it then falls off the hinges. <laughs> And I mean, I probably damaged it when I <laughs> with that gust of Well, rain. and the goblins haven't been super gentle with the dwarven architecture here. So pick it back up. Uh, <laughs> hold it Zenos, <laughs> it is now your turn. I am now the door. Um, well, Kill he went around that way. I can't see goblin. him. Oh, you can't. I can't see him. There's a big thing there. He's over here. Um, yeah. So you're just holding the door in place? I'm just now, well, I am the door. <laughs> All right. Well, um. <laughs> now I can just throw it on you. I am the door. <sighs> Improvised weapons. Let's see, five. Can I, if diagonals counted? They're one. All right, so Everything's one. 15, yep. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. All right, well, seeing as this isn't working out according to plan. <laughs> uh, Imagine that. Don't say yeah, that. Yeah, I guess I'm going to move over to here and, uh, and see if I can't get line of sight through the okay. door. How far did you move? I moved 50 feet, so I double moved. Okay, okay, cool. Um, you get... You can definitely get line of sight from where you're standing there. Um, okay, Baziago. I can see through this thing? Well, I, I gotta move like another 10 feet, don't I? I was thinking towards the goblin. Oh, oh yeah. I don't um, care about the goblin, I care about the worm. You don't want to attack the one goblin? It's, bad. it's not gonna be alive when it comes to my turn. Sure. I'm not thunder weaving a single goblin. You're not gonna thunder wave <laughs> a single goblin? <laughs> no single goblin thunder wave? Oh, did you guys take. Uh, he wasn't. You guys didn't take him out. Um, there was a the, uh, dwarf in that cage, <laughs> but he is that's, now. Oh, yeah, that's the guy who that's let the us guys, out. Yeah. all? But he means there's, there's actual... a dwarf mini in the cage, and oh, you guys didn't take no. him out, so he's still in the cage. <laughs> and he would have prepared a ready to action too. Okay, all right. Um, he's right there. Got it. Okay, cool. I didn't know if that would. <laughs> so if you pop the base off. You can set him wherever you'd like. Um, is he a fighter? Is that what he is? What, was yeah, he, what would a, his stealth have been? It's not good. No. Then he would be higher than a two. How about me? He probably rolled higher than a two. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So. Um, someone See, is going to have to control him. He has a an attack of plus two. Okay. And his uh, maul will say it does a d8. All right. All right. He's got a 10 to hit. Does that nice? Hit? All right. Um, okay, I'm sorry. I think it's Vaziago's turn. Mm -hmm. So uh, they still seem heavy in their cups, right? Even, yeah, even they're, not, the door? they're not paying attention. Well, I mean, when the door closes and then breaks off the hinges, yeah. there are a few others that look that way. And then the door picks itself up. <laughs> well, so this is, this is partly why I was asking. I'm going to mage hand. Okay. And I'm gonna have it hold the door up like it was still closed. That's what I'm doing. I picked it. I picked it yeah, but you, when you do it, there's a set of feet. <laughs> <laughs> this is the door is actually just standing still, and you don't have to be there when they come charging through it. Mm. All right. So um, um, why don't you make an Arcana check? For absolutely. 
Uh, da, 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 da. That's going to be 16. Okay. It holds it in place. Yeah. Um, anything that else? Uh, awesome. Yeah, as I hold it, uh, I'm controlling the mage hand. So are like you going to control the dwarf? I'm going to yeah, turn right, toward right, Shipwreck right. and be like, Mage hand twice. <laughs> <laughs> Ren, what are you doing? Um, right. Renny the Pooh. So. Does it take anything for me to move through the goblin? Uh, you cannot move through the goblin. Cannot move through the goblin. Through. You can move over, over him. You can uh, athletics check to jump over him if you want. No. <laughs> I'm just going to step up and I'll hit him with my poison. Okay. So he can make a... Con save, I'm assuming? Yep. All right. Uh, how about a three? Uh, <laughs> he is going to take d12. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Six. Ah, uh, well, sounds sounds okay. Yeah, yeah. He Not enough to six, kill him. And he's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> my insides burn like my outside. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> and then he falls to the ground. And he's like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's, he's playing dead? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he's got one eye open and he's looking around. Just step on him. Walk over. Uh, okay. So that was Ran Corbin. Uh, so he's wounded. He's mm-hmm. wounded. He's on the ground. Dingy dingy dingy. Uh, no, no, he dies. He did. Was there, was it's a pretty good act. Yeah. Save for half anyway. It doesn't. No. Not on a cantrip. No. Or not on that particular cantrip. Um, Scott. okay. Crazy. So that was Corbin. Yep. Um, so hobgoblins. Are moving towards the door and trying to force it open. Um, your mage hand is not going to prevent them from forcing it open, but you can make an opposed strength check. Okay. And they, because there's two of them that are trying to do this, um, are going to have advantage on their check. Um, and they have a strength of 13, so this should work out just fine. Uh, that is a yeah, it's out great. 16. So strength, uh, just strength, strength bonus twenty three. Yeah. So they push, and you push back, and there is a doorway between you. It's, the door locked. They didn't use the handle. Okay. So that's them. The rest of the goblins do not give a fuck. Um, and Sarsaroth. In the frame, they just don't. Can I, I mean, there's no way to see through the door at this point, right? Because the, the door is effectively in ha- place. Yeah. However, we can tell you. There's some people pushing on it. If yeah, you want to maybe gonna ready something and then you want to move up and ready. Drop the door, or I push it into them. I mean, I can move up. I'll move up. Garadil is like, please don't destroy my my ale. If you destroy the ale, do what I this can. isn't gonna work. Out. Right. It's okay. I have a plan. And so you're readying. Na, 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 <laughs> please, we get fire resistance. <laughs> I'm gonna grease. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're gonna move up. And you're gonna ready an action to do something. Shipwreck. Um, oh, he, you can't get that close anyway. How far is grease? Sixty feet away. Okay. I am going to hold my action until Xenos casts grease under the door. Oh, under the door? So I'm going to use my move action to lift it up a little bit. Okay. And then he casts grease under it on the guys that are standing in front of it. And then I'm going to use my action to push, then push them. Push them. Okay. Oh, fancy. There's All right. A lot of- uh, so <laughs> Shipwreck does that. Um, why, why don't you make a strength check to and kind of accomplish this? That's 10. All right. Do you get advantage because of the mage hand helping you? No. Oh. Mage hand is... Like five pounds. Oh, if I rage, I can get advantage on it. You got what? Ten? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it works enough that your, your plan goes through. Um, well, it's, it's going to be them... So they're basically trying to force it open, and you're, the, the strength check was to oh. accomplish the raising up and oh, keeping okay. it in place, um, which is fine. Uh, so, Doug, you make your... I move over to... Here. Okay. So that I can see what's going on. And Xenos. And. Cast uh, Grease. I cast Grease, so it's in front of him. Ten feet. So Ten that, feet. that okay. block right in front, it looks like there's three guys on it. Okay. 
And so they, uh, they all make reflex saving they throws. They all make reflex saves. And there's two hobgoblins and a goblin, or yep. another hobgoblin? Okay. Two, yes. So, um... So, yeah, the goblin does not save. Okay, so he's prone. And then the other two, yeah, they do not save as well. <laughs> All three of them are prone. All right. So oh, you so just shove, and then they get pushed. Um, go ahead and make a strength check. Ten again. Okay. Well, I'm going to say that that actually benefits you. So you push them five feet. The two hobgoblins are still in the, the grease spell. Yeah, um, they are. Yeah. Yeah, that's if you only push some five feet and you do you did ten, mm -hmm. then you're fine. Yeah, ten foot square. Um, okay, so um, there was another ready to action. There was. So am I at the door? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Which yeah. is now on huh? a couple of hobgoblins. Mm-hmm. In okay. a group. So I mean, like here. Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. Wait so I can use that as an actual one, one two, three. Picking up tables and doors. There's four. Four, yeah, yeah. four guys. Mm -hmm. Two goblins. Two hobgoblins. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to max it, it. Yeah, uh, I but I it. will go ahead and call forth the power of the Tempest. Okay. So 10 damage. Okay. And the Hobgoblins need to, they need to all make con saves? Yeah, con save DC 13. Okay. So the Hobgoblins, it's two Hobgoblins and two Goblins? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, the Hobgoblins, one got a save, and the Goblins... Um, both safe. Oh. Okay, so the goblins and one hobgoblin take five damage. Okay. The last one takes ten. And the other hobgoblin takes ten damage and is also pushed back ten feet. <laughs> and there is a thunderous <laughs> so, roar. So, yeah, now you've the gotten the attention of everyone. everyone. Every so, so what them. happens to those guys? Are? They so get pushed one of them ten feet. Goes back. And Do any, they all go back? They all go back. Anybody? Oh. Go back. Well, no, just the one that say the didn't save goes okay. back ten feet. So he's okay. there, and, and then the other three are not <laughs> moved. Okay. And the two goblins are still alive. <laughs> yes, they are. He's been like, yeah. <laughs> okay. He's been in. A so yeah, you've definitely gotten their attention. Um, hmm. uh, so we are at. That was the goblin's Zenos. turn. Should I should have cast another no, that was, round of thunder. That was Zenos. Zenos. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Zenos. Uh, Vaziago. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and. Oh, it's getting crowded over there. Oh, oh you are party foul. Corbin's line of sight on this is not great at this point anymore. <laughs> kind of expected them to come running out of the room. Well, I mean, you know. Mistakes were made. <laughs> I can see that <laughs> goblin there from made. the corner. Mm -hmm. What mistakes? Sure. Cool. So working uh, he can go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. I'll okay. make mistakes. So he's a lot of salt. He's got disadvantage on this. Mm -hmm. Salt makes mistakes. He is mistakes. drunk, and a four is not going to do it. Okay. Awesome. Cooper. So he can take four psychic damage. Okay. Was that one that had been hit before? Yeah. Okay. He dies. Cool. Pepper, the garlic is good stuff. Okay. Um, so that was Vaziago. Ren. I'm just going to step. Up to here and turn into a spider and let him off. I guess I probably could have did that and just gone on in there up on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, what a feeling! <laughs> now I'm gonna go to there and nobody's within. That's five, ten. Can't get anybody that steps into that doorway. So um, I'll just move to there, and that'll be all I can do until we okay. go charging. Do you want to ready anything stuff. or no? No. Okay. Corbin? Uh, I'll move Fireball. around to the front of this. Hmm? Sure. <laughs> and I will ready in action to Eldrick Blast, the first guy that walks through the door. Okay. The first goblin guy that walks through the door. Nope. <laughs> nope. He didn't say it. Goblin, <laughs> hobgoblin. Um, all right, so... Um, Priest of Umberly, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the two hobgoblins stand up using half their movement, um, and they move forward. Okay, well, that one needs to make a reflex save. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Because they do have longbows, they'll go ahead and use them. So they're going to make their attacks. Okay. They're going to get up. They're going to get up. Okay. They're going to make their attacks. Okay. Um, they are disadvantaged because they're drunk. Excellent. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, oh, that's this is one at a time here. So yeah, this is one at a time. So um, who's the target that they can see? Me. You. Yeah. Okay. 
Just you? So yeah, yeah, he's in front of the door. The oh, you're in front of the door. Okay. Fourteen's the door not going to hit you. No. And uh, seven's not going to hit you. <laughs> yep. So the t- they really, you tried. can see they they're, really like, they're like, they're <laughs> like, kind of having a an issue getting the bo- the arrow strung. And then they have to close an eye because there's two one of, of you. One of them launches. And that really throws off accident. their depth perception. Oh, so if I start waving so my th- arms. <laughs> and then just go. They end in their turn? When, when like. Uh, well, they're pushed back. They should be pushed back outside of this. Yeah. Yeah. Only one, one of them was. Because only one, one, one was pushed. pushed back. Yeah. Well, the other they one. Were, they're they're both pushed. Right. So we fall. So he's, so he's back. Just because I can't see. That's why I was asking. The, ho- the goblins are going to pour forward because okay. they're stupid and they okay. don't know what's going Whee! on here. So, um, what? <laughs> First goblin that was in the grease can stand up. Yep. Yep. And he falls right back down. Okay. Could you imagine that? Grease is overpowered. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I should take color spray now. Are they 25 or 30? They're 30. All right. This guy can make a save. Okay. He makes it. Okay, he's there. So he gets to the door. He attacks. He gets all the way to the door. That is uh, 19 he to hit. He also drunk? Oh, yeah. Yay! Uh, he, second he gets to the that door, That is uh, 19, because I rolled two 15s. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. All right, so mm-hmm. that is six damage. Actually, oh, before man. you do that, Adam uh, Eldridge Bolt hits the one who just got, a, got to the door. Oh. Adam had a ready to action. Sure. If I hit. If you hit. Now it's yeah. 20. Oh, <laughs> he did. That's 12 points of Eldritch Blast damage. Uh, I doubled the dodge. Well, he so totally know. hit, though. I'm going to keep that attack <laughs> if that's cool. So, okay, so the next one needs to make a save. I mean, so the order next made. guy up can make a save? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay, so he eats it in front of the door. And then stands up. Okay. <laughs> um, and then the next guy comes up and needs to make a save. Yeah. And what are, what are we going for again? DC 12. 12. Okay, he makes it. And then he hits me. And then he hits six. you for six. Um, <laughs> He's still moving goblins. Yeah. Just move them into the point where they have line of sight on Mike. That's what, four? Four regular goblins? Yeah. Hmm. So, um, for this, I'm going to add a little flavor in. So, when you shove the door, you actually it breaks and you've got a piece of the door with you. Mm. Um, so, how many goblins are going to be attacking Mike now? Are all of them, do all of them have bows? Is they that have short bows, on? yeah. That's so, four. four? Four? Okay. So, the first attack is, ooh, a 16 and 18. Uh, so, uh, 20 is the total on the first attack. Uh, that's with disadvantage. Um, next attack misses. Next attack misses. Next attack misses. And Wait, how many attacks? That was four. Yeah. Is that, that four? four? Okay. Yeah. Well, so one hit. So you your now your makeshift door shield <laughs> is just peppered <laughs> with <laughs> with arrows. Um, and the one that does get through does ooh max damage eight damage. Ooh wow. So that is it for them. Sarsaro. How many in there? There's two at the door. Oh, shoot. That's not worth it. Uh, I'm down 14 hit points. Yeah. Hey, um, I'm your Yeah, half we brother. are brothers. <laughs> so I put my hand on your shoulder and give you Emberly's blessing. I appreciate it. For six Hooray. hit points. All right. That's Yay. good. Yay. Yeah. Um, are Let's there, how, there's, yeah. there's hobgoblins left, correct? There are three, yeah, three hobgoblins, four hobgoblins left. No, sorry, there's, uh, there are bugbears in there. Oh, there's no. a bugbear? No, that's no, not. They're that's right, they're hobgoblins. Four hobgoblins. There's four hobgoblins. Four okay. hobgoblins. Show the hobgoblins. <laughs> uh, they're going to attack with their longbows because they've got longbows. Oh, this is good stuff. Uh, so natural one and a 17. I like the natural one. Uh, a two and a six. Uh, that, nope, the highest is a 16. That's not going to hit you. And last one, a natural one and a uh, three. Awesome. So more arrows just... <laughs> it is quickly becoming less of a, a <laughs> shield. It's now becoming a quiver. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Shipwreck, it is your turn. Um, 
Okay. So there's a goblin right in front of me? Yes, there yep. is. Yep. All right, I'm going to race. He's, he's there's two That's a good idea. Raging two sounds goblins. like a good choice at yeah. this point. Yeah, and I'm going to hit this one. Or try to hit this one. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be reckless, because that would be really, really yeah. bad. Yeah, that might go... Yeah, and there's there's um, some times where uh, Travis Willingham has made the wrong choice. So that's only with a grog. twelve. Twelve? Yeah. Not gonna. No. Even though they're drunk. No. Okay. Okay. Does anybody want me to get out of the way? Uh, no, you're good. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Don't die. Well, if I I now take half damage against all piercing, bludgeoning. All right, man. Uh, have disadvantage. Get in there. All right. Um, so earlier you described, I think, some of the alcohol spilling out of. Oh things. yeah. If there's, if there's, uh, so it's beer. It's not. Is it flammable at all no, or no? No, it's not. You can't. You usually can't. It's like, I don't spend a lot of time with like, beer. It's so twenty percent. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. you need to get like. 80. You need, yeah, you need to get. Much okay. Higher. So there's nothing in here that I'm going to be able to get. There's grease. I mean, rum would catch on. Well, no, the, there's nothing in the grease spell that says it's flammable. No, it's. I was hoping the web from the spider would show. I would say that it's flammable. It's grease. Mm. That's it's, it's been your flammable call. in the past. I will it's, say that it's, it's your call. I don't think that I want to. If wanna, you abuse it, well, we might have to revisit. I, I was <laughs> focused more grease, about boom. the hobgoblins with their longbows than the goblins up front. No, don't worry about the goblins. Remember the um, fog cloud? There is had? though. If there was, <laughs> yeah, if there was barrels close to the yeah. door. Those barrels are broken open by his. So this is just getting kind of messy over here, right. all, but yeah. not flammable. It's so, a scrum. so I'm gonna throw an ice knife on this guy right here. Okay, yep. so um, I create a shard of ice and fling it at that creature. All right. Um, and I need to make a uh, an attack roll for this. Is that a hobgoblin or a goblin? It's a hobgoblin. Okay. It's the one kind of in the middle. Uh, that's an eight. So um, I imagine that misses. An eight? Yes. Yeah. That's okay, good. so um, everyone within five feet of this guy. So one, two, three hobgoblins, a goblin, and Gosh, is this guy within goblin? five feet? Hmm? Is this guy within sure. five feet? I can't tell. Yeah. Okay. So all of the hobgoblins and one goblin need to make a reflex save. Okay. Um, and if they... How many reflex saves am I making? One, two, three, four. four. Five. Okay. Does it count the guy that you hit? Yep. Okay. Uh, hit or miss, the shard explodes in the target and each creature within five feet of the ice must uh, succeed on a dex save or take 2d6 cold damage. And the dex save is 15? Uh, it was 12. On 12, okay. And that's so 11 damage. Two make it. Um, one more makes it. And yeah, there's uh, one one failed. Okay, well, he takes 11 damage. He dies. Okay, which one was what that? What was it? It was a goblin. Oh. There's no. a goblin. Okay, so that's Xenos Vaziago. Okay. So I see this group of goblins over here. I'm going to pick one in the middle. I'm gonna put these this uh, uh, twenty foot radius about here. Okay. Twenty seven hit points of goblins, and I go. You should all go to sleep. Okay. So one, two, three, go to sleep. That so was, probably yeah. it would be those three first. Yeah. And one, two, three. <coughs> okay. That's awesome. Ren. So uh, <laughs> as a like swift, don't, don't. I become a spider. Yeah. As a bonus, you become a spider. Our bonus. One, two, I'm along the wall. Okay. One, two, three. Is I'm going to go action? to here. I'm basically there. So I'll be thunder waving again. You I am, still can. I am. He's on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, that's the, totally the front goblin, uh -huh. or front hobgoblin, uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attack him with the bite. Okay. <laughs> Ah, that, die is, that die is uh, Angry. off balance. Yeah. yeah. I miss. All right. Corbin? Uh, can I see either of the goblins in the front? Sure. Uh, have they taken any damage? Uh, if they're in the no, front, I don't, know. I don't, I don't believe they have. All right. I'm going to uh, Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, 15. 15? Yep. 10. Okay. He dies. Oof. Now I have a corpse to jump. What on. color is your Elder's Blast when you... What does it look like? Um, it looks like a shard of... Like like if you could take a pane of 
midnight sky and break it. Mm. It's like a jagged shard. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so that was Corvin. Um, so the hobgoblins get to go. So your weapon is <coughs> Big They're gonna glass. turn on you, the big giant spider in the room, um, and there, there's still four of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. God damn it. Uh, the one that you're attacking. Um, Maybe with like a glaze over it. Um, he is gonna, he's gonna switch to his sword. Okay. Um, because he doesn't want to be at disadvantage, but he's gonna use it two-handed, and that doesn't matter because he rolled a thirteen. Yeah, he misses. Um, so the other two, uh, the other three are going to shoot at you with their longbows. Uh, one is definitely going to hit, and then, yep, one is going to hit. Okay. Uh, so that is 11 damage. And then the goblins get to go. Uh, the goblins are going to continue to crowd up around the door. So There's only one goblin. still. So those two names are still standing. There's only one, one goblin left. Oh, there's... Three goblins. Three. Okay. So and they all there's, three need to make there's six saves. goblins. Okay. Three of which are awake. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So two of them the... need to make deck saves as yeah. they go through the grease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to. Um. So nope. And nope. So they're going to use their yep. um, their the rest of their movement to stand up. <laughs> cool. So you have one goblin that was starting his turn in the grease. Okay. So he is going to move. He's gonna. Nope. Okay. <laughs> then he's gonna use his, the rest of his move to stand up, and then he is going to try to move again. Yes. So he moves in front of the door. Well, he is can. it Mike in front of the door? Yeah. yeah. We he have moves a, on the other side. He moves through Mike. No, no, no. If he's already at the door, you're at the yeah. you're at one at the side of the door. Yeah. So the he's at already, the other side yeah. of the door. Yeah. Was he at the? Yeah. yeah. Was yeah. he within oh. attack range of you? Yeah. Well, then when he stood up, he would, instead of trying to move again, he would try to And at the you. end of his turn, he would fall down. <laughs> and, yeah. And not do it. Very good that job. Seven, seven, seven. No. Oh. No, it is not. Okay. Well, he doesn't hit you. Did you? Oh, wait. Disadvantage. <laughs> That's the same thing. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sarsero. Uh, so we still have three hobgoblins? Or all four? All four. All four. All four. Jeez, guys. Three awake goblins. I can't three get through a goblin, goblin door. Yeah. Uh, can't get through the goblin door. <laughs> <laughs> goblin doors? Uh, I guess the goblin in the front there needs to make a dex saving throw. Would you do? Oh, kill is it dex guy? saving throw when they're drunk? Do they, they don't get disadvantage on this? I will give them disadvantage. Um, how about a three and a four? <laughs> Flaming sacred light does two damage. All right. He has several hit points left. <laughs> <laughs> but not Up several Darkowitz hit points. Left. No. Do we figure out how many hit points the Shipper? goblins have? Nope. All right. Um, More so than the goblins. I well, want get that part. Um, this is this is my plan. Wait. Is to You're going to charge into the room. I'm going to kill it, the goblin in the grease. No, I get I get no. I get advantage on my save against the grease. Um, Why do you get but throw the door down and just dodge. skate across it like a you, surfboard. If, as long as I know it's there, I get uh, advantage <laughs> on deck saves. Um, that's what I'm gonna Legolas kill the goblin and slide hat. across yeah. the grease with on the goblin. Sure. Sounds fantastic. That sounds like the best idea you've uh, That's gonna hit 20 the goblin. goblin? Yeah. All right. So 15 damage. Oh, you oh, slice yeah. him. I make two skis out of the goblin, <laughs> <laughs> and then I jump on them and slide that into the Make so your dexterity saving throw. All right. That's a four or a nine. You know what? Roll it again. <laughs> you you just burned your 20. inspiration. Yeah. You <laughs> burned your inspiration <laughs> because that is a cool idea. <laughs> just put those goblin corpses on. <laughs> so wow. so if he slides in, he would run right in straight into that. Ten feet. Yep. Slide yep. Right, right there. Into that hobgoblin right there. Okay. Um, Xenos. All right. So um, now you should light the room on fire. <laughs> yeah. No. no. I can't. Um, but I was wondering something. Yeah. Um, the barrels over here. Uh huh. If I did set one of those barrels on fire, I know that the alcohol will not burn. Right. But it would certainly boil and evaporate and create, a, I would think, a lot of smoke. Wet wood does tend to burn and make smoke. Sure. There's the alcohol in those. Which point? Aren't we here to save the alcohol? All the alcohol. Save the alcohol. Save the I alcohol. thought we were here to. 
purge. Uh, yeah, save the dwarves? Save the dwarves. Well, we, save we the dwarves, get paid, but I'm get paid, and Xenos, what are you Something doing? Something has to burn. Xenos, <laughs> <We're laughs> no! <laughs> We're here to advance the guy. What would Xenos do? Um, fire it up. Xenos would fire it, yeah. Would fire. would fire it up. So, um, <laughs> alternatively, the big ones over here, those are under pressure of some sort? Under pressure. If I was able to, to ignite the front of this, would the... Can you, can you would break, the... Can you break the legs and make them sip on to the... I don't know. Ooh, if you not, break their the, legs, they the beer goblins. come flowing, at, rushing out at their feet? I mean, it's a lot of beer in the, in the big yeah. ones. Yeah, <laughs> it would... It, it would Flood out of it, yeah. All right, so I think I'm going to try to target this one then, right in front of that guy, with uh, a flame bolt to see if I can. I forgot to have Gardasil come up and make your attack. So that's a 15. Okay, that hits. Okay. Make roll your damage. So four fire damage to that thing. Is that enough? The so the cork. Yeah. The. I don't know that it would be a cork. Yeah, it's it's more of like a, you know, the, the spigot uh, twisty through. spigot thing. It breaks. Okay, so it's like I get a face full of... Hold on. It, do, it doesn't immediately just shatter and explode. Okay. But it will shatter okay. and explode. Um, and roll 1d4 for me. Uh, can I borrow a d4 from someone? Sure. Oh, that one's broken. Yeah, so Here, it's still so good. Non-broken one. <laughs> I'll use the non-broken one. Two. Okay, so one, good uh, one, two. So it's okay. gonna break on Renstrom. Okay. Uh, Vaziago. <laughs> they, they go in. <laughs> yeah. I think I want to kill them before they wake up. Yeah. <laughs> He's just slicing throats. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm going up to that goblin and I'm. <laughs> That's fine. You don't. You need, you need to roll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. One dead. Wait, are they de- are they lying <coughs> down, goblins? I'm gonna go sleep. stab some. They're asleep. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's asleep. Go the sleep sleeps time like goblins. three of them. How did you get past the grease? <laughs> gonna fork those goblins. Oh, yeah. oh that's how right. Did, how did, did you get past the we'll find crowd out, control yes. device? We'll see. Uh, oh, so it would just be that. Uh, uh, eight plus five. You're good. Yeah, you're fine. It's just a little slick, I'm, and you. I'm very dexterous, so like. I start to slick, and then I kind of click my heels together and go, <laughs> and then I stab the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. cool. That's, I mean, um, just Ren? That. So does the barrels break at the start of my turn? Sure. Okay. So it breaks, and it just goes, and it does. Are there two guys there? There are three. Three. Okay, so it does four damage to each of them. <laughs> um, and killing one. Nice. Oh, oh, which one? Uh, the one right in front of it? Front? Yeah. Number yeah. killing number one, obviously. Okay, obviously. So the guy gets a face full of beer. Three, that was there are three hobgoblins. Yeah, there's okay. three hobgoblins left. Right. So okay, one right in front. All right. So they take damage. Unless you okay. names for so um, I am going to relocate isn't where I should be. to here. <laughs> okay. Where is here? Behind them. In Chile. Off the bar- off the barrels. Yeah. Okay. Climbing behind them. Yes. Because Do you have the nemesis system If they system hit me and knock me back into human form while I'm spider climbing on the wall, that better walk next just time, just Ranger. Oh, <laughs> ah, so I'm climbing down off the barrels <laughs> and getting be- landing behind okay. um, one of the hobgoblins. I'm going to um, drop my web, and it's yeah, yeah, web. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my web on the back portion of the room so it'll catch. That goblin, the sleeping goblins. There. It'll catch the sleeping goblins and then the two hobgoblins. Okay. And they need to make a um, DC twelve strength check in order to. <laughs> I think it's a dexterity check to not be webbed and strength check to get free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Says so target sense. can escape. So they, yeah, they don't. Okay. They don't. All right. So then the I don't one need that's to roll again for disadvantage. The one that's closest to me, I'm gonna go ahead and bite him. Okay. Uh, 12. Uh, nope. 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 Um, okay. So they're restrained. Um, Corbin? There was a goblin that you could have shot. I <laughs> Isn't there still a know. live one that's laying down? Yes, there yeah. is. Yeah. Sleeping. Mm-hmm. So I'll hold my action for him to get up. I think he's sleeping. No. No, no the no. one in front, he just fell no, down he after fell he down. Oh, got okay. there. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, so that's going to go off. So I, I, oh. we just. Oh, then he takes 10 points of damage. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't go. Okay. Oh. So the two goblins 
or hobgoblins that you're you got webbed are going mm -hmm. to attack you. Okay. Are they both adjacent? Only one, uh, only one, one is adjacent. The other one is not. All adjacent. right. So the one that's adjacent is going to attack you, and that was a seventeen plus three and eleven. So fourteen. That'll okay. hit. Fourteen will hit. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, three damage. Okay. Um, the other one's just going to try to break free, and because it's a strength check, he does not have disadvantage. Um, what's the... Twelve. Twelve? Uh, no. Um, the other one that is not webbed is and going... That's the one that's uh, in front of him. Is going to attack you. Yes. And that is a natural 20. And? And a 10. Awesome. I like the 10. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, is that, are there any goblins left that are not sleeping? Oh, there's, there's one, one, next, one to, next to one. one next to shipwreck. All right. Um, nope. <laughs> Sarsara? I'm going to try to stab, I'm going to step up and stab the one next to shipwreck. Okay, you have to make a... Do I, am I stepping into the grease if I... Yeah. Step yeah. Woo! Really... No, I slip. Cuts like a knife. My butt. <laughs> it feels well, so you right. you can stand up with the rest of I your move. I stand up with the rest of my move. And then that's it. Stab the, I oh no! Then can you, I still stab the goblin? Yeah, you, you can, can still stab. It's yeah. just you're gonna have to make another up. save. Or At the end of your turn, yeah. Yeah, fork him up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I hit him. Okay, twenty-one. Uh, yep. Nineteen. Nineteen. Either way. Nineteen. For five damage. Five damage. Okay, he yeah. takes it. And, and then you have to make your save. save. Yeah, yeah, make save. another save. At the end of your turn. Oh, you go. You made it. That time hey, you got hey. it. Hey, look at that. You gained your balance it's on fine. that goblin's yeah. head. It's nice. Yeah, it's thanks little... for holding me up. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's real nice of <laughs> you, Mr. Mr. Goblin. Uh, now I'm going to be reckless uh, against this hobgoblin right in front of me. Okay. That's an 11 or a 24. I'm going to go with the 24. is going to hit. <laughs> so 12 damage. Uh, 12? You killed yep. Yeah. Goblin dead. Is, that, is the goblin that Howard stabbed still alive? Yeah, yes. barely. Uh, so um, the fire on this um, thing right there, mm -hmm. that cask, mm -hmm. um, I shape it so that it looks like the colors, the flag from our from the ship. Okay. And then the flames and what hit. What does that look like? It's a pirate flag. It looks cool and intimidating and stuff. Pirate, okay. You see that for a moment, and then it catches the webbing on fire, and <laughs> those guys okay. burn. Um, it burns one. It I burns can't. Five I can't let that slide. The name of the ship's the Tempest, right? Yeah. The, and it's got a manticore the on the mm -hmm. thing. Okay. So it's uh, a Jolly Roger, yeah. right? Like yeah. the classic skull bones and mm -hmm. thing. But instead of it being the normal skull, it's a manticore, and instead of the the swords, it's the wings. There you go. Sounds good. Oh, look at that. There you go. All right. I can't. So you should write that. No. <laughs> we have Somebody should remember that. It's we recorded. Get that yes. Recorded. <laughs> um, so it burns five feet and does two d four damage to anything that's in the. Okay, so the five. two guys were in that. Right? Well, and the two sleeping goblins. It'll take a while to get to them. Though. Well, no, okay. it only burns a five foot square yeah. of the web. Right. So if you burn right there, you'll hit those two guys. Right? Okay, yeah. so I burn okay, those. So roll yeah. your two d four. I need two d four. Somehow I think that Doug. they're gonna die before I have a chance to actually kill. Them. So we, that's six damage. Can we make a rule that Doug needs to have his own set of dice? I <laughs> didn't know his entire bag. <laughs> he has a whole bag. How much damage did you do? I six. Oh, oh, okay, you nice. kill one and you two. You, the other guy is very badly burned. <laughs> <laughs> he will not die before I devour. Uh, so. All right. So that was Zeno's Maziago. You kill uh, steal that. I'm gonna <laughs> jump through the web. No, I'm busy stabbing goblins. I'm gonna stab that goblin next. And <laughs> oh, that was the one, the pirate, oh, like oh, parrot. Oh, oh, too bad for he him. He had a name too. And then we'll as never find uh, out what my it was. bonus, no, it's, it's goblin. As <laughs> it's right. as my <laughs> bonus, I'm gonna go. Just quote common. You don't know. Ren, stop embarrassing no. me in front of this. Sorry, excuse for a pirate ship crew, and I'm gonna give you inspiration. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. Ran a I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. Yeah. Nice. Have you killed there you go. Not sleepy? 22. Yeah. With my words. 22 hits. Multiple times. <laughs> Did anybody see you? You're yeah. attacking the hobgoblin? Yeah. You killed The him. victims. Oh, okay. He had one. <laughs> I Five. I mocked multiple goblins to death. Nine. <laughs> including a 14 points of damage. Just 
foam. When you poison him, <laughs> foam just shoots out of his mouth. He is. No one has ever been as poisoned as this hot guy. You bite him right on the butt, <laughs> and it just shoots out of his mouth. Okay. Thanks for the inspiration. Yeah, not a problem. Where did all that Corbin? come from? Uh, you climb down? I do. I get a Interact 19 on my athletics. Yeah. yeah, like you were born to do this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> on a toe. Thing. So I climb down the, the rocks like, from hey, the middle um, of the cavern. Should I come up? <laughs> no, you're you're going like to not. Him. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then, is that an action or a move? It's going to be an action. An action? Yeah. All right. Uh, then I'll call it. You know what? No, actually it would be your move. You're right. It would be move. Yeah. I'm getting in on it. one of these goblins. Uh, pff, move. I'll just shoot the goblin yeah, shoot up there in front of me. All right. Uh, fine. Actually, I'm not even going to shoot him. Uh, can he make a wisdom save? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nope. No, <laughs> can he take 10 points of damage? Mm. He can. Ooh, he's he he's can. dead. He can't take The it. last thing he sees is a fat man leering through the doorway with a little delicate bell. Ding, 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 ding. And then, dong, dong, dong. And he collapses under the weight of his own doom. Yeah. Under his... <laughs> All right. So, uh, I think that there's still some sleeping goblins. There's one, 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 one sleeping goblin. One. Who wants to finish it? I do. Uh, Howard does go next. Yeah, you go next. I walk right over to him. Ooh, I I'm look at to make a you. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you need me to make sure you can hit things again, just let me know. Thanks. Okay. Me. So, <laughs> once all I'm of the fighting <laughs> <laughs> dies down, um, you can hear um, speaking from the other room. And you can hear it very clearly because um, there is a second level to this area and there is a balcony that listens, uh, that, that um, is overlooks over, it. yeah, overlooks it. So um, there is a, also a door um, that goes into the room. What would you like to do? Go sneakily listen. You're going to go up, yeah. up the balcony. Okay. Yeah. Is okay. there really any sneaking after exploding barrels and ringing bells? And well, so could just be the party. goblins were going crazy in okay. here. Um, you could hear them from over on mm -hmm. the stairwell. So it didn't... Yeah. I mean, that anyway. yeah. was pretty so, loud, but... Uh, I got a 17. So, on your stealth? Mm -hmm. uh, before we go sneaking up, has anyone really heard or anything? No, I'm good. Huh. I've taken... So I've got... I'm down eight. You're down eight? If you want to heal my spider, you can always do that. I mean, you have three free spiders, to be fair. Two. Two. Two more. Oh, you have I got more. one more. You got one more. I only get two per day. you short rest. Yeah. Two per um, short no, rest. Short. Two yeah. per short rest. Yeah. And I don't think we're going to short rest. We're about to lay some smack down. How, how, wait, how low is your You're spider? a giant spider, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and you get, like, wait. advantage on stealth or yeah. something wait, wait, stupid wait, like wait, that? Wait, wait, no. There's just a big spider up here <laughs> listening. Yeah, no. Okay, so you're just going to go up okay, there? Let's do this yeah. right. It's this guy up here. No, it's the big spider, not and, the little octopus. And the octopus. I was sending the octopus. <laughs> I got dark vision. I can see. I got a 21 on that stealth check. Yeah, that is All right, a give a half a Shut up so I can read this and we can break. <laughs> Before you stands the mixing room of the Rumble Tide Dwarves. The hoppy tang of unfinished ale mixes with the stink of unwashed bodies in the room. Two reverent hobgoblins kneel on the far side of a pool of amber water, while a heavily armored hobgoblin stares defiantly into it. A watery voice booms from the pool, and you can see it belongs to a fiery red dragonborn wearing black plate mail armor with gold filigree. Viwuk, you fool! You may have jeopardized the Ember Flame's ascendancy with this pointless raid. The reverent goblins turn to look at their leader. But Lord Archon, we saw wealth in tribute to the Ember... F Silence! commands the dragonborn, pointing a desiccated hand at Viwuk. You... Gather whatever you have pillaged and return home immediately before your presence is discovered, and I will serve you as sacrifice to my queen myself if you ever endanger the Ember Flame Legion again. And with that, the pool grows dark. You see Viewuk take a moment, gather himself, before turning to the goblins in the room. You heard, Lord Archon. We are to gather what we have and return to the surface. And that's where we'll end for tonight. All right. All right. Good times. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for watching. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Thank you. Yay, yay. So